Hello, everybody! Hello, everybody! You can hear me now. I know you can hear me now because the red bar is going up and it's all like, oh, the microphone is active. Hello, everybody! I'm Mannequin. Welcome to Saute Streams. How's everyone doing today? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? You can hear me, right? Hello? All right. Anyway, uh, how's everyone doing today? Uh, I'm good, says Josh4. Um, you are totally, completely very audible. Thank you so much. I'm glad to hear that. Anyway, um, how are you all doing today? Um, we got um, As here, that title though. Do you guys like the thumbnail? The thumbnail wasn't sus at all. Um, Edio, Edio, please don't joke about that because you if you joke about that, I actually have to go offline and try to figure out what's going on. So um, please, please, uh, for, for tech difficulties, let's not joke about these types of things, okay? <laughs> um, um, uh, as is here, um, the thumbnail's not sus at all. I know, right? Right? The thumbnail is very friendly. Um, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um... Anyway, uh, let's see who else is here. Uh, we have... Uh, Clapper, hello, Edio, hello, Kiyoma, hello, 99, it's been a while. How you doing? Hello, we got... Uh, Josh, hello, we got... Uh, Lazy, hello, we got... Edio, hello, we got... Um, I'm gonna say hi to Kiyoma again. Uh, hello, Kiyoma again. Hello, Ario. Hello, Azadon 99 Kiyoma. And Will. Hello, Will. How's it going? You stopped playing TF2 to come to this? Um, lol. This is how I like to end the night. Oh, thank you so much, Clapper. Welcome. Also, I haven't heard of TF2 for a very long time. I used to play the Soldier. I really like playing the Soldier. Um, because, you know, I really liked going like pew and then rocket jumping going pew. And then I jumped and then then it, I landed in something. Did you know rocket jumping started out as a glitch? Rock, I don't remember what game, but rocket jumping started out as a glitch, and people decided, you know what, we're gonna make it a feature. <laughs> Just casually greeting everyone twice. Yeah. Um, I am not the big mouth as man of fire at what? Anyway. Um, yeah. So. Um, Today we're going to be playing Danganronpa. Today is our third and final day of the Danganronpa Super Week, and we're probably going to play. Uh, we're probably going to finish it either today or next week. I think some of you who know the game will probably know better whether or not um, we're beating the game this week or next week. But um, regardless, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, Quake was the base of TF2. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it's Quake. Uh, and so, yeah, we're gonna try to, you know, uh, well, we're not gonna, I don't know if we're gonna beat it, but we're gonna try to beat the mastermind. Um, and hey, how's it going, Cassie? Um, anyway, let us go. Pew! Pew! Okay, we gotta listen to the intro theme at least once because this is a special day. This is where we take on the mastermind, I think. You were prepared to come here? I'm so glad you did. You know what I really like about the intro? The intro really foreshadows everything that happens in this game, but you don't realize it, so it's not really a spoiler. <laughs> Oh, main character, good idea. A wise man once said, Good morning. We're very close to the finale. 
Makoto looks weak. I mean, he doesn't look like he's a strong boy, but he definitely looks like he's, you know, he's got that brain, which is probably the most important thing here. I don't know who is doing the more s in this symbolic relationship. If you appreciate me more or I'm I'm simping harder. Well, I'm a I'm a big simp. I simp for I'm not I'm not going to say I simp for Kyoko cuz mm -mm. No. Kyoko uh, Kyoko needs, still needs to win my heart. Hmm. After all that mean nasty stuff she made me go through. Hmm. Kyoko. Hmm. Um but I simp for Junko. All right. So last time we played this I theorized that there is a possibility that the Junko we met actually isn't Junko. My theory is that that Junko is actually a imposter playing Junko. Um, and there were a few, a bunch of pieces of evidence that I went over, but one of the main ones is the fact that um, this Junko is being used as the dead body. This Junko happens to have a wolf tattoo on her hand, which is something that Mukuro is supposed to have. This Junko also, um, her, apparently according to Makoto, she didn't look like her photo shoot. And so when um, he said, oh, she, you don't look like the photos that you took. And she was all like, oh, it must be Photoshop. But in reality, maybe it was just a different person altogether. So um, we are going to see if the Junko, if my theory is right, and there is a Junko imposter and a real Junko. What is my IQ? Probably somewhere between 7 and 15. Accept that you like Kyoko. I will not accept it, Kyoma. I don't like Kyoko. Kyoko's mean to me. Hey, how's it going, Minato? Minato, I noticed that your profile picture is also another character from, I think, the second game. I'm looking forward to playing the second game. All right, you guys hear this jam? It's time for the trial preparation jam. I put that on my toast every day. Uh, okay, so let's set our skills first. My IQ is between one and 1K. That's that's a big area. Um, increases the focus gauge, we don't need that. Algorithm, melodious voice, tran wait, that's it? We don't have any more skills. Where are our skills? Minato, is he the edgy white? white-haired boy because the edgy white-haired boy is always the one that the 14-year-old girls simp for. <laughs> always when you put an edgy white-haired boy into a um, anime, all the all the all the teenage girls simp for them. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Okay, so let's check out our truth bullets. Um Okay. So I theorize that this body is actually Mukuro Ikusaba's body, but also Junko's body. So Junko, uh, the reason why I think it's Junko is for a few reasons. One, you see the nails, you see the red nails that she's wearing. Um, for guys who are really ignorant of this, like I was when I was a teenager, you know, you can actually put nails on top of your nails and they're called fake nails, but they still look like real nails. Um, I used to think that fake nails were real nails, and I thought, why would girls grow their nails that long? That's gross. <laughs> and then I realized you could just add nails onto your nails, and they're like fake nails. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, hello, Odd oh, Stickman. How's it going? Okay, so you can see the nails. You can also see the boots. Um, Junko wore high-heeled boots, and before the explosion, you could see that they had red laces on them. And we know that Junko wore high-heeled boots with red laces. So this is why I theorize that this body is actually Junko's. However, and you can also see kind of the blondish hair. Um, however, we also know that this body is probably Mukuro Ikusaba. And Mukuro Ikusaba has the wolf tattoo to prove that. Um, and we know that she was a... Some wolf. Was it Okami? Okami? Uh, I, I don't remember, but she was part of some um, wolf-based mercenary group. I think it was Okami or something like that. Um, 
Uh, and then we have fake nails uh, there, and the tattoo that's proving that she's, you know, all the members of the, um, of the um, group are, um, get a wolf tattoo, so there it is. Oh, Fenrir, wrong language, completely wrong language. Uh, yeah, thank you for that, Fenrir, Fenrir. So they get um, the tattoo on the right hand. Um, we know that this was a bomb. Um, and the sprinklers. So probably I'm predicting the direction that the arguments will go. It's probably going to go along the lines of when was the body discovered? And when the body was discovered, um, how it didn't get wet. And we're going to make the argument that the sprinklers, that because the sprinklers make the body wet, it's probably not it's probably correct to assume that it happened after 7.30. However, we also know that there was a tarp, so it's also likely that the tarp was covering um, the area. Um, the tarp was covering the body. And, but we know that the tarp wasn't bleeding. There's no blood on the tarp, which suggests that this coat is fake, and that's using fake blood. Um, ha. And so, so I, I'm... Sus I'm suggesting that that's probably the direction that the trial's gonna go, but eventually we have to identify who the body is, because if we don't identify the body, we can't identify that the killer is actually the mastermind, right? Once we identify that the killer is the mastermind, then we can proceed from there. But in order to do that, first we have to identify the body, and that's gonna be difficult, because let's be real here. Um, Hina, Hiro, Toko, they're all idiots. So uh, we're gonna have to do some explaining. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Court is now in session. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But then I'll oh. punish everyone besides Sorry about that. the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Okay, well, I'll leave the rest up to you. Oh, this time we're getting no help from Monokuma, and because he knows, he knows that if we succeed, oh, he's going to die. So he's not helping us at all. Well then, let's discuss the specifics of the victim. Okay. First, we need to clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. It's Kyoko. There's no other explanation. Are you sure? What? What? Are you, are you? What? But Kyoko's standing right there. No, that's a ghost! What? But she has legs and stuff. Well, that's just because she's like the latest evolution in ghost technology. What? Hey, how's it going, Kemjo? There's a limit to how much ridiculousness I can tolerate. Hi, how's it going, Randy? Um, okay. So I just have to prove that the corpse is in Kyoko, right? No, we're not we're not having this discussion right now. I swear to frick, we are not having this discussion right now. Then let's compare Kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body. No! No, we are I swear to god, we are not having this discussion right now. I swear to freaking god. The traits? One important trait that proves he, the body doesn't belong to her. Is her gloves? She's not wearing gloves. I got it. I'm talking about her gloves. They'll give us some insight into the mystery. I'm sure of it. Randy, you think a hero? Or are you talking about me? You think I'm 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 the murderer? I'm not the murderer. There's no way Makoto's the murderer. Uh. In that case, I think it would be helpful if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. And would you happen to know the answer? In fact, Monokuma told me. Apparently, you have scars on your hands you don't want anyone to see. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, the corpse wasn't wearing any gloves, right? Very good, Asahina. Now, please, can we, can we, can we drop this conversation? They probably just got burnt up in the explosion. Can we, can we not? Please, we, I swear to God, we are not having this conversation right now. Is he, oh, he is hella stoned. I'm not convinced. The ghost is just trying to fool us all. Bro, what, what drugs do you do? I like, give me some of that, but not in court. There's no way that corpse was Kyogo. No shit, Makoto! I 
I'm sorry for cursing. I sometimes curse when I get really, really angry. But if I can't prove why, we're gonna be stuck here. And the case won't move forward. Oh, I have to go to Makoto mode. Hi, I'm Makoto. I really like this girl, but I'm not sure if she likes me because she's always acting kind of bitchy around me, but I think she really likes me, so... Okay, yeah, I'm good. So I don't have any choice but to... I swear to God, we are not having this right now. I swear to God. There is I swear else. to God! Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. Why don't you just touch her face? Her body wasn't wearing gloves. Correct. They got burnt up in the explosion. Correct. I'm a ghost. Then Interesting. She <laughs> well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Um, no. Corpse is absolutely Choco. Uh, exploded body tattoo this on the right hand. Discussion is idiotic. Thank you. I know the body isn't Kyoko's, and I can prove it. Okay, let me just go over the... Let's see. Fragments near the dead body, exploded body analysis, right hand, tattoo fragments near the body, sprinklers, uh, exploded body analysis, tattoos on the right hand, fragments near... Probably just fake nails, okay. Then she was wearing gloves before the explosion. No. Well, yeah. No, oh my frick. Oh my frick, we are not doing this right now. You, you, we are not doing this right now. We are. No, there's no way the corpse was wearing gloves. Kyo, uh, Makoto, this doesn't even, this doesn't even warrant the epic music. It's not like we made some sort of epic co like contradiction that changed the direction of the trial. This is, this is literally the least epic contradiction ever. Whoever it was, they were wearing fake nails, remember? I imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been a pretty big pain. Besides, Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? She wouldn't wear nails. It would be weird for someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear fake nails, don't you think? Jeez, man, you don't know women, huh? They're complicated. Oh my god! How's it going, Voodoo? If anyone doesn't know women, it's you. <laughs> well, Kyoko, any thoughts? These gloves were custom made to the size of my hands to make sure they don't interfere with my daily life. There! She couldn't be wearing nails! If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit properly. Thank you! Then that's that. The dead body doesn't belong to Kyoko. Which should have been obvious since she's standing right here. <sighs> okay, so then. Who's the real victim? They had Where to just- We need to figure that out. We just- They just had to throw in an extra debate just cuz Yasuhiro. That's the first thing I said. You're the one who's been dragging us around in circles. Before anything, we have to identify the victim. Everything starts from there. Let's get the tattoo. Is this case supposed to make you annoyed angry? Well, it's certainly working. Tattoo. Kyoko really is still alive. Then who died? There's gotta be some way to figure it out. Oh, come on, guys. So. The face was scorched beyond recognition. Oh my- Oh no, it's minus 20 seconds! In the Monokuma file. Well, if we can't identify the body... Okay. Then there's nothing else we can do, right? Hey, look at that. The three stupid ones are debating. Why aren't we saying anything? Why aren't the three smart ones saying anything? Why are we letting the stupid people debate? Kyoko really is still alive. Then who died? They're saying... There's gotta be some way to figure it out. They're saying thank you in Vietnamese. <laughs> I think so. The face was scorched beyond recognition. And there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. Wait. Woo! There was.
was one clue left behind that we can use to identify the body. Is Byakuya sexy? I mean, just look at that face. Come on. Um, Ali says, roses are red, grass is green. I've arrived, so acknowledge me. That doesn't even rhyme. Come on. Anyway, how's it going, Ali? <laughs> I swear, Yasuhiro, I know, right, Kemjo? What? For real? If you're lying, you'll die a cruel and unusual death. Cruel and unusual death? This I gotta see. The hell? She's just being stupid. Ignore them, Makoto. Tell us what you're talking about. At least Aoi acknowledges my intelligence. The key to figuring out who it was is the tattoo on the back of her hand. Oh, yeah. The design's pretty strange, huh? Is this a dog? Her master must have made her get it to be like, you're my bitch. I swear, every single thing about this trial is just here to push me to the brink of death. I swear to frick. Seriously? They really did something that humiliating? No, that's not it. The identity of the victim is hidden within that tattoo. How's it going, Penguin? Oh, really? Hey, Matt. If you compare the tattoo to the other information we have, the victim's identity should be clear. Uh, is it? We don't have any information on Fenrir, do we? No, it's probably just the profile then. I got it! I got it! <laughs> Fenrir Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. You know, it's really interesting. They throw in a new character just to kill her. That That's so interesting. Okay. So, uh, can I speak sug on these? I don't know, Voodoo Child. Can you sug on these nuts? Oh, sorry, sorry. I had to. Yeah, I had. To show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Fenrir? That image that represents Fenrir is um a dog, right? No, a wolf. A wolf. A wolf. Hey, look, they even give you the O. Woo! Give me a W, give me an O, give me an L. Whoa! W-O-A-H. It's the, it's a whoa! Whoa, man! <laughs> now I understand. The representation of Fenrir is a wolf. Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. It's from Norse mythology. A huge world ending wolf beast. Uh, she would know that. He's the child of the trickster god Loki and a female giant. Wait. Wait. Loki got with a giant? Bro, my man Loki. My man Loki getting it. High five, Loki. After all this time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all-star. A wolf tattoo. Then that means... Exactly. The body we found had a tattoo of a wolf. Which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. So it must have been Mukuro. Yay, we did it. We identified the body. Did we seriously have to make that debate about Kyoko? What? Oh, hold on. Isn't she the one that was behind this whole thing? <laughs> you sound surprised, but you're absolutely right. Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Thank you for verifying that, Junko! Junko! Thank you for verifying that, Junko! I'm telling you, it's freaking Junko. I know it. I, I, I'm a hundred, I am so sure it is Junko. I am so sure the, the, the mastermind is Junko. Uh, dang it, roses are red poems, Allie. Um, what does everybody do while staring at Hangman's Gambit? I can imagine, um, um, what is it? During like the Hangman's Gambit or like the other like mini games, like Makoto's just going, Ugh! and then, and then like, they're like, Hey, um, is Makoto okay? Uh, Makoto, and Kyoko's like, shh, let him think. <laughs> shh, let my, 
<laughs> no, no, no. She's like, shh. Let my little boy think. <laughs> Are you saying the mastermind is dead? No. It means we were wrong in thinking that Mukuro was the mastermind at all. But I mean, being the ultimate despair seems like a pretty mastermindy title to me. Because she wasn't the ultimate despair! Maybe we shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first place. After all, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. All it said was that she was the ultimate soldier. Hey, how's it going, Akaya? If I remember correctly, that other information came from Kyoko. That's what you told Makoto, right? Oh, that's gonna put suspicion on Kyoko. They're gonna think she's the ultimate despair! So that means Kyoko got it wrong. They're gonna think she's the ultimate despair! Um, who was she? was Mukuro Ikusaba. Wait, no, 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 but that's not true. Because if Mukuro, oh wait, let's suppose this. If Mukuro was dressed up as Junko, that means she had prior information that this mastermind trickety trick trick game is going to, is, 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 she, she had prior information. So she was actually working she, it must be she was working with Junko this entire... Oh my god. I remember something. Do you guys remember when um, Junko got skewered? She didn't say, um, oh, this is awful. Or didn't she didn't say, like, oh, I don't want to die or something like that. Do you, know, do you remember what she said? She said something along the lines of, why did you do this to me? Do you guys remember that? Yeah, Junko didn't say something like, oh, I don't want to die. She said, she said something like, why did you do this to me? Something like that. Oh my. Yes, 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 yes. So she's been, so Junko's been working with Junko the whole time. Junko, J Junko was working with Junko and the Junko I saw for Junko wasn't Junko, but Junko was Junko. So, so, it's not Junko that was Junko, but Junko was Junko, right? So even though Junko wasn't Junko, Junko was Junko. Does that make, that makes no sense whatsoever. You, you guys, you guys understand what I'm saying though, right? It wasn't Junko that was Junko, but Junko that was Junko. And even though Junko wasn't Junko, oh wait, the Junko, that Junko wasn't Junko. Junko is Junko, but the Junko that wasn't Junko got attacked by Junko. Does, 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 does that make sense? Yes, in other words, Junko was working with M Mukuro this entire time they've been working together. Oh my frick. So it's a double attack. It's like we both have a mastermind and a person from the inside, but the mastermind was all like, ha. Huh. I don't need you anymore, Mukuro. And bah, 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 bah. and then she got attacked. And then uh, Mukuro was like, why did you do this to me? And, and then she died. And then she died. That's it. That's it. Oh, my God. We figured it out. We figured it out. Oh, my God. We figured it out. <gasps> She's been gone this whole time. And when she finally turns up, she gets killed. Usually when there's a scene where an important character dies, it has a lot more detail. Well, that's just breaking the fourth wall right there. So you're saying she wasn't an important character? Which would mean she was the same as us. Just another participant. Ah, uh, she was a side character. <laughs> who's the real mastermind? It must have been the <coughs> Peak Academy headmaster after all. No, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. My information was not wrong. Ooh. Ooh, she's pissed. Okay, okay. We're in the middle of a trial right now. Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost. That means there's two masterminds. That that means there's two masterminds. So killing one doesn't kill the other. So even though one mastermind is killed, the second mastermind isn't. Please 
limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit chat as much as possible. Sorry, Monokuma. I know I was I was ranting. Um, my bad. Fine. Uncovering the identity of the mastermind will have to wait. No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. You mean Byakuya? No, the Togami family name. Wait, but I thought that was your name. I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. Now then, just so nobody's confused, let me state this one more time for the record. The reason we're having a class trial is because a murder among the students has taken place. Come yes. On that point straight into your big old brain. And the answer is Junko killed Mukuro. That's the answer to this trial. But I don't know how to prove it, honestly. What you're I mean, I do know how to prove it, but I also don't know how to prove it. Part of the student body? Then one of us killed Mukuro? Wait, no. There's a chance that there's some mystery 17th person who's been hiding all along. Do you know what's the crazy thing? This isn't as wrong as we think it is. This this isn't actually as wrong as we think it is. He's right. There is a student that's been hiding all along. It's just not the 17th. It's actually the 16th. Nope. There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events. Seriously? Then one of us killed Mukuro? And and as stupid as he is, he's actually not that far off the mark. Who did it? Who's the killer this time? It's Jungo. Get a hold of yourself. We've already narrowed down the list of possible suspects. Huh? I'm sure you realize who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? Um, Junko? Based on what we know, there can only be two. Mukuro and the headmaster, Toko and Jen. Where, where's, where's the choice for Junko? Where's the freaking choice? I guess, I guess what they're saying is, oh, wait, what is, what is Byakuya thinking? Byakuya is thinking that. Byaku was thinking that, okay, we were dismantling the Monokuma. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. M Mikoto and Kyoko weren't dismantling Monokuma. You've narrowed it down to Kyoko and me. No, 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 that's wrong! Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. Just after nighttime last night, I went to the garden. So I can confirm that at that point, there was no dead body there. So the murder must have taken place after I left the garden. No, 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 the body was placed there when you left the garden. It has nothing to do with the murder time. The body can move wherever it wants. However, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I were in the gym the entire time. It matters what, yeah, I think it matters where the, the characters are in the progression of the debate. That's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Mokuma. Oh! Kyoko doesn't even know about this! The whole time, we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. I'm so glad I can help you um, feel better, Waluigi. And awesome, cosplay Sayori. I pl I've cosplayed Sayori too. All of which is to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis... Are me and Makoto. That's why you're able to narrow down the list of suspects. Oh, hey, Kyoko. Kyoko, you can do this. You can do this. You got a big brain, okay? Exactly so. The only suspects now are me and Kyoko. Kyoko, you've got a big brain. You got this. You can do this. I can't let this stand. Somehow I have to clear my name. But, but, no, no, but, but, no, no. You have to clear both your names at the same time. You can't just clear one because one throws suspicion on the other. Um. I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Wait, don't, me and... Me and Kyoko should have alibis, because she saw me in the middle of the night sick. Right? And I saw her. Right? Don't we have alibis? I was thinking of raising an objection. Well, before that... Objection! I just want to try and get a better idea of what time the murder took place. Doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Whatever you want, somebody go ahead and help him out. Okay. Me and Byakuya can both confirm that the body wasn't in the garden at... Well... It was after nighttime for sure. Trust your I'd character's talent. It must have been around 10 o'clock. So the murder must have happened after 10 p.m. Okay. Then I guess we can say the time frame for the murder was between then and when we found the body? Oh, but what time did we find the body? At around, what was it, 9 o'clock? Yeah, 9 o'clock. who saw the body first was Toko, right? And she went to go get the pickaxe. 
I'm glad I played this um, right after the investigation yesterday. Otherwise, if I waited till next week, I would have forgotten all of this. I got it. The body must have been discovered at 9 a.m. Since that's when Toko went to get the pickaxe. Right. Good, good. Now then, Toko, what time is it? Uh, are we having an another flashback? Yes, this is for information from Makoto's brain. He's right. It had to be around then. So we can be totally sure the murder happened sometime between 10 at night and 9 in the morning. Uh, okay, okay. Logic's a little bit off. It's not, it's not the murder. It's the, it's the, um, it's the placement of the body, but sure. For me, I was already asleep before nighttime hit. So I don't have an alibi after 10 o'clock. Yes. But I'm sure I met up with everyone else before 9 this morning. We ran into each other in the dining hall, right? Oh, yeah. Right around 7.30. I remember checking right before I went in, so I'm totally sure about it. Which means from 10 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., you don't have an alibi. Um, we can, we can argue that the body wasn't wet. But we also know that there's a possibility that it was covered by a tarp. Um, but you know, let's let's move the debate forward. And I don't have an alibi from 10 p.m. to 7:30 a.m. You're watching two streams at the same time. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying my stream enough to watch it. Okay, it looks like the game has begun. If I can't provide an alibi for that period, I'll just have to prove the murder didn't happen during that time. I don't have an alibi. Okay, here we go. Okay, their logic is a little bit off, but the direction of the conversation is good. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took Correct. place oh, somewhere no! between 10 o'clock at night. Yes. And 9 o'clock in the morning. Correct. Yep. And Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. 10 o'clock. Yes. To 7.30. Yes. That's correct. That's more than enough time to commit murder, I should think. Why are you guys all accusing me? Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be the time. Why are you guys accusing me? The incident took place in the garden, right? If I remember something, there's something that happens there every morning. Yep. We've established a time frame for the murder. I think it's 10 a.m. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock. <laughs> Actually, the murder couldn't have happened anywhere near 10 o'clock. It had to have taken place way later. That's right. And what makes you say that? Because of the sprinklers in the garden. Sprinklers! The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every morning, right? So if the body had been in the garden before 7.30, then it should have been completely soaked. I know a thing or two about getting things completely soaked. Oh, hold on. With with, with, spring, with sprinklers, with splink, with with sprinklers. The body was wet, dripping wet, in fact. Uh, Makoto has big brain. Makoto is big brain. I actually think he's pretty big brain. Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. I'm wrong? How? Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you spew such indecent words! I'm allowed to make that joke because I'm the streamer and I moved on. But you freaking Toko, uh-uh. No, I'm saying that the body was wet, but not because of the sprinklers. What do you mean by denying the sprinkler? Are you trying to deny my entire existence? No, stop catastrophizing. By denying the sprinklers, I am simply saying, hmm, maybe we should think about that again. But if you would like to disappear, that would be great. Man, you're totally wacko. If you really think it wasn't the sprinkler, you better tell us why. I need to prove that the sprinklers wasn't what got the body wet. All I have to do is hit Toko with certain evidence and that should do it. Oh boy. Are, are we serious? We're having this right now? Oh, I don't remember how to do this one. I admit nothing. I admit nothing. No, We're not. No, no. That's enough. Reload, oh, reload. Trying to blame me? I admit nothing. No, no, no. Oh, it's moving too fast. Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. I'm right about this. I admit nothing. This is going too fast. Okay, 
Okay, we made it. We made it. Um, How can you say it wasn't the sprinkler? I think it's exploded body analysis. This should prove it. Woo! We made Just it. Just remember what the body was like after the explosion, and you'll see why it wasn't the sprinklers. The top half of the body was wet, yes, but the bottom half was completely dry. If the sprinklers got the body wet, shouldn't the whole body have been wet? All right, we got it. So they only got the top wet? The bottom was completely dry? What a brutal maniac! What? I'm so sick of her. I am too, Owie. Let's just move on. The reason only the top half was wet was because... While the body was still on fire, I doused it with water. But only the part on fire, the top half. That's because Byakuo was too lazy to do anything himself. Oh, then I guess the sprinklers really didn't do it. Good. So if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, then the murder must have taken place sometime after the okay, okay, on we're seven thirty in the morning. We're slowly getting there. Which means she must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was discovered at nine. I mean, kinda. Makoto's alibi was only missing from ten o'clock last night to seven thirty this morning, right? So there's no way Makoto could have done it. I guess you had an alibi after all. Good for you. In which case, the only one left without an alibi is Kyoko. Kyoko's the only one without an alibi? Which would mean Mukuro's killer is... No, I refuse to admit it. Because it's definitely Junko. Kyoko murdered someone? That's... No, it was probably Junko. I'd just like to say one thing. Yes? If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Okay, we got little Miss Arrogant Pants over here. It's like, oh, you don't kill me because I'm the most important here. I'm the one who will solve all the mysteries, not you. Okay, okay, Kyoko, uh -uh, I don't need that attitude from you. Why don't you just say, I didn't do it, don't vote for me. Huh? Huh? That That's a good idea. Instead of saying, oh, you better not vote for me because if you vote for me, then uh, you are stupid because I'm the smart one. Oh my frick. Which is why I can't let that happen. All right, don't be, don't be so freaking selfish, okay? Let's work together. Huh? So are you saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill anyone. It's bargaining. It's the third. <laughs> it's the third level of grief. This is a trap the mastermind has laid for us. Okay. <laughs> We're this far into the game and now you decide to blame me? That's why- oh, that's why he did it! Because he was being really re oh, she. She was being really, really, really patient and waiting for us to trust that, um, the mastermind always follows the rules. And then she decided to break the rules. Stop wasting time! Stop wasting energy! You really think your little trick is gonna work? Shut up, you! You got it, boss! Shutting up now! Dang, he has him on a leash, man. Anyway. Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Because you thought he was a mastermind. Huh? She did? She thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind everything. So she killed her to try and put a stop to all this. But you made one catastrophic mistake. Mukuro wasn't the mastermind at all. And as a result, we were forced into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't at all expecting. Oh boy. So that was her motive? That's actually a pretty strong motive if you look at it like that. Oh god, that's not looking good for her. If she had a motive and no alibi, well then, I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's gotta be the culprit. No, no, not necessarily. Uh, not necessarily. It could be, uh, 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 we, uh we, we don't have any, we don't have any proof of how she did it. We don't have any proof that she was anywhere near the, 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 the body. At the very least, innocent before guilty, right? Um, what's my favorite food? Bacon wrapped hot dogs. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. Huh? The sprinklers didn't get the body wet. But that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it did. Right. Okay, 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 okay. Now Kyoko's going to firing back. That's good. What are you... Because you see, there is a way the body could have avoided getting wet. Interesting. 
I'm listening. All it would take is covering the body with a certain something to keep it from getting wet. Right? A certain something that was used to cover the body at the scene of the crime. Could it have been... Oh, I don't... Uh, I don't know. Because if I had present this evidence, I'm actually... <laughs> I'm actually implicating myself right now. Should I present evidence that implicates myself? <laughs> <laughs> I got it. You're talking about the tarp, aren't you? You catch on quick. You're right. All you'd have to do is cover the body with the tarp, and that'd take care of the water. In fact, that's exactly what the killer did. The dirt pattern on the tarp can attest to that. Only one side of the tarp got dirty, because that's the side that got covered in water. Right. The side that faced down over the body, meanwhile, kept perfectly clean. Right, right, and th this is where we talk about the blood. This proves that the killer used the tarp to keep the body from getting soaked. Kyoko, I don't like your use of the word proof, but it is a reasonable explanation. But why would they go to all that effort just to keep the body from getting wet? To obscure the time. Most likely so they could cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. Kyoko, Kyoko, okay, it's big brain versus big brain. Come on, Kyoko, let's go. You and me, come on. By the way, this is a good thing. By the way, debating with people is not always just an argument, right? Sometimes you debate with people to try to figure out what the heck is going on. It's so, so, me, big brain versus big brain isn't, isn't as stupid as you think. Oh, uh... Munasonu Dora. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Thanks so much for joining. And uh, where's Anseman? He's usually here. Um, he'll probably be here soon. Uh... In other words, to create an excuse exactly like the one Makoto just gave us. Okay, you, you didn't have to. You didn't have to phrase it like that. You didn't have to phrase. Oh, to make an excuse like Makoto just said. Isn't it interesting that Makoto used that excuse when in reality that was his plot all along? You, you don't have to you don't have to phrase it like that. I don't like your tone, Kyoko. I I love you, but don't make me question that love, okay? Blame each other until another person can't be blamed. Uh, why would Kyoko say that? Why would she make want to make me look like a killer? Hey, how's it going, Arkane Bolt? No, I can't think about that right now. The tarp. If it was used in the way Kyoko said, the tarp must have touched the body. Anseman, are you our besties? Awesome! I'm so glad you, you joined. But the body... Wait. Something's not right. Good, 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 good. Talk about the blood. Talk and about the blood. what might that be? I can't worry about Kyoto's... Kyo... Kyo... Uh, Kyoto's. I can't worry about Kyoko's motivations. If I don't do something, everyone's gonna think I'm the killer. I have to refute what Kyoko said. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, body, body. It has something. By Exploded the body. body with the tarp, when the body the was. Killer prevented it from getting wet. When the body was found. What is when the body was found? What is when the body was found? Uh. No, it's not when the body was found. Um, knife at the crime scene? What is knife at the crime scene? Uh, the knife was found near the body, used to stab it before the explosion. Also the same as the Makoto using that assailant. No, that's not it. That's right, because it got what? Body the before the explosion, that's it. It was totally spotless, right? Oh, oh, my, wait! It's because that side was protected from the water. Is this the first time we've seen it's Makoto actually take part in a, in a non-stop debate? Of course it didn't get dirty. This is the first time we're seeing Makoto take part in, in a non-stop debate. Um, you can always share it on Discord, uh, Waluigi Master. Thank you so much. And share it with your friends. I'd love that. By covering the body with the tarp, the killer prevented it from getting wet. Right. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side. Only dirty on one side. Got that side wet. Is it only dirty on one side? You always contradict hero. Tarp, it was totally spotless, right? Right. It's because that side was protected from the water. Uh, I mean, that's true. Since that's it was true. was facing down toward the body, of course it didn't get dirty. Ah! No, that's wrong. 
Yasu, when did Yasuo get smart? He's never smart. Actually, one side being clean is pretty strange if you think about it. That's right, that's right. Fire back from me, Kyoko. Because the blood wasn't dry before the body got blown up, right? Yakuya said it himself. Not to touch it, or you might get some on you. Right. If you put a tarp on a body in that state, it absolutely would have gotten blood on it. Hey, how's it going, Asuman? Awesome man? Well, maybe the culprit washed it, so nobody would know they'd used it. Then you'd wash both sides. If they had, they would have washed both sides. Just washing the one side wouldn't hide anything. Right. Oh, yeah, true. More than that, what if the very blood we saw on the body was meant as a kind of camouflage? Oh my god, she's really going for Makoto. I thought she was just trying to debate, but it really looks like she's trying to pin this on me. What if, after the killer used the tarp to avoid the sprinklers, they then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to the victim? You mean someone else's blood? Where would they get something like that? Like, a, a million different ways? Like, there's blood packets down on the third floor. You could kill a chicken. Kiyoma, uh, I think Kiyoma was the one who came up with um, the, the, the chicken theory, but it's like, that's pretty cruel, man. I know. They could have grabbed some of the blood packs from the nurse's office. Oh my god, I just said that. Am I as smart as Hero? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I'm as dumb as Hero! <gasps> That's what Ifumi did, right? When he pretended to be dead? No, that's not what happened this time. The killer got the blood from right there in the garden. The blood right there from the garden? Which means, I'm not sure I want to implicate myself, but I'm gonna do it. Because I'm so madly in love with her, I can't really think. I got it! Could it have been chicken blood? <laughs> I don't know why oh, the word chicken blood is just hilarious. Could it have been chicken blood? <laughs> what? Chicken blood? When I checked the chicken coop before the murder, there were five chickens. What a waste of a perfectly good chicken. But after the murder, there were only four. So you're saying someone killed a chicken? And then cover the body with its blood? That's why. Man, that's messed up. I'm with you, hero. Well, I'm not with you. I just agree with that particular statement. Killing a living thing just to do something like that is awful. They should have at least eaten it. Okay, I'm closer to Aoi right now. Yeah. If you're going to commit a murder, at least eat the chicken. I wonder if the killer had to get the blood from the scene so they wouldn't be spotted walking around. Uh, that is actually reasonable because the mastermind can't be seen. Anyway. There's no denying that a chicken went missing, which provides a basis for my theory. Perhaps, but even so, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. You said the culprit used the tarp to avoid the water and then covered the body in blood, right? But if that's the case, then the blood should have soaked into the ground around the body. I mean, you could have prepped it wherever you want, just prep it in like the room next to it and then move the, move the, um, move the um, coat. But that's not what we saw. Only the victim's clothing had blood on it. The ground was completely clean. I have to agree. That certainly is strange. Maybe they didn't apply the blood at the scene. There we go. Maybe they covered the coat in blood beforehand. Come on, Makoto. Let's keep implicating ourselves. They covered it beforehand? When you discovered the body, was it wearing the coat like you normally would? Um... I think so. It wasn't. It wasn't, man. It wasn't. Wait. No. The head was through the neck hole, but the arms weren't in the sleeves. There it is. Then that settles it. Sorry. I'm having a tough time keeping up. What settles what? Here's what happened. The murder took place before the sprinklers went off. Oh, wait, oh, wait. First of all, don't be so assertive. You don't know for sure that this is what happened. It's just a conjecture. But the body didn't get wet because the killer covered it with the tarp. Then, later, at the same time the killer was gathering up the tarp, they pulled the coat over the body, the coat they'd already covered in blood. All right. This series of cover-ups was meant to disguise the actual time the murder occurred. Okay, this is a... I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is a little bit 
over the top for a cover-up. They wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the sprinklers had gone off at 7.30. If that's actually what took place, it certainly becomes possible that the murder happened earlier. Correct. But to pull all that off, wouldn't they have had to go back to the garden after the sprinklers turned off? That actually wouldn't have been all that difficult. Huh? They already had the coat ready. So they just had to grab the tarp and pull the coat over the body. Right, okay, good, They'd correct. Be done in no time. Correct. Maybe. But still. Hina, after you met up with Makoto in the dining hall, did you two stay together from that point on? Oh, no. I headed off to the gym, and Makoto didn't show up till later. Did she, did she seriously, is she, she's seriously trying to implicate me. That wasn't just a, that wasn't just a, oh, it's possible that anyone could have done this. She specifically called me out. Then he had plenty of time to spare, wouldn't you say? She's specifically calling me out. That's not. Don't bother saying it's not possible. Yeah, but it's also possible that the other, the other way happened too. I must admit, Kyoko's reasoning is sound. Makoto's alibi is inadequate. Correct, but that doesn't mean I did it. And the suspicion falls back on me. But why? Why is Kyoko trying to entrap me? I don't understand. Okay, okay, disguised dead body. Well then, it looks like we're back to square one. Makoto's alibi is no good, so once again, our suspects are him and Kyoko. Okay, You're that's fine. serious, man. Which one of them did it? Junko! Junko! Let's bring up the fact that the body has multiple wounds! Hey, why don't we let luck decide? Let's flip a coin. 50-50 odds. No, it's 0-100 odds. Both ways you lose. Oh. See? Pretty good idea, right? No, not that. I just remembered something super serious. Well, don't just stand there. Out with it. You know that knife we found all black and burnt? The one we found stuck in the body before it exploded, right? According to the Monokuma file, the knife went all the way through, from front to back. So, what about it? I'm pretty sure I'd seen that knife somewhere before. Oh no. Why did you have to remember that? That's what I thought when I first saw it. I just remember. Mm, no, no. <laughs> Listen, more important, um, now that we're having this flashback, what should we do with the knife? Um, well, don't you remember that we gave it to Makoto? Um, but this is, um, a flashback in Makoto's brain. I'm not supposed to take part in it. Um, so, let's just get this flashback over with. It's the knife we gave to Makoto? You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. Yes, I know. Yeah. Then why did you hide that fact? He didn't hide the fact! The knife was literally right there for anyone to see! It's not that I hid it. It's just... I couldn't be sure of what actually happened last night. I thought maybe I really did kill her. Suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. You shouldn't be talking, Yasuhiro. The knife we found stuck in the body came from Makoto. Now I'm totally convinced he did it. Well, thousand percent convinced. Considering everything up till now, should be able to make it clear. I have to prove that I didn't murder anyone. I'm not the killer. Right, Mak uh, what's her name? Uh, what's her name? Uh, um, uh, Kyoko didn't have time, but very much time with the body. She couldn't have actually, you know, discovered all these things. She never looked at the Monokuma file. We have the Monokuma file. We can we can use that as a defense. Right? Right. I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it. No, 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 no. Because I had the knife once. That automatically makes me the killer? Good, good argument. Well, getting stabbed is what killed her. No! So there's no question. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it. Uh. Horrible man you are, Makoto. Why does everyone hate me? Upper half burnt. Uh, be honest, while the bottom half was dry. Why does everyone hate me? 
fragment when the body was found knife when the body was found no 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 chicken coop byakuya's account body before the explosion uh and there was abdomen wound however there was no blood on the ground um Mukuro Ikusaba, woodblock key, titanium arrows, bloody dust. Where's the, where's the thing that shows that um, the, the thing was attacked in the head? It's the Monokuma five, file number five, right? They also had been struck with the head as thick as a metal pipe. Where, is that, is that one of the pieces of evidence we can use? I, you, no, there's no way. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Mokoro. Exploded ball of analysis. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. Right? If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it. Okay. Just because I had the knife once, that automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed her. No, that that's right? the wrong one. That's so the wrong one. No question. You took that knife of yours and killed her with stab, it. Stab, stab, stab. Oh, Disguise dead body. Disguise dead body. Let me see the things more! Okay. Disguise dead body. We're uh, here. Uh the murder took place. Wait, 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 wait. That's obvious! Because because uh what is it? Because the the blood wasn't clearly was used to cover up the fact that the knife wasn't the killer. So it's definitely the disguised dead body. I was gonna use the Monokuma he file to show that it also was hit by a head. It really is you don't hate me? Oh, thank you, Kem Joe. Was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it. No, no, wrong, wrong, wrong. Just because I had the knife once? Right. That automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed her. Wrong! No, that's wrong. Have I ever went to Comic-Con? Yes, and it smelled really bad of body odor, so I never went again. Wait, hold on. The stab wound isn't what killed Mukuro. That should be clear from the description of the cover-up we just heard. Lies! We never talked about what killed her! Are you serious? No, don't you remember? The killer covered the dead body with the tarp, and then put the bloody coat on it, right? Right, right. In other words, the victim never wore that blood-stained coat until after they were dead. Correct. Okay, fine. So what? So, when we discovered the body... Right. The knife had been thrust through the coat along with the body. Correct. Meaning, if she wasn't stabbed until the coat was put on, and she was already dead at that point... Yes. Obviously, the stab wound isn't what killed her. Correct. Maybe well, not obviously. Twice. Once to kill her and once to cover it up. The victim was stabbed twice? That's not possible because... Wait, let me check the Monokuma file. Um, single time. I got it. Okay. The Monokuma file clearly states that there That's was right. only one That's stab right. wound. That's right. That's right. That's right. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, yeah. It sure did. Then the knife was just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer. That's right, Makoto. They probably stabbed her to draw attention away from what actually killed her. That's right. Good, good, good. Exploding the body afterward was probably meant to do the same thing. The explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know what really killed her. I don't think that was the true motive. I think the real motive was to hide the identity in the first place. It was all the killer's attempt to destroy all evidence of their crime. Correct. So they wanted us to notice the stab wound and then detonated the body afterward. Kemjo says, but technically stabbing is what killed her because she got skewered. Good point. Good point. They meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death, then destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Oh, hey, I have a question. It kind of goes back to the beginning, but what's the deal with that explosion anyway? Why'd the body just blow up all of a sudden like that? Uh, I think you were right on the chicken theory. If you bother to put that lump of gray matter between your ears to use, you'd know the answer. Well, if you're right. so smart, just tell me. Oh, tell him, Owie! I'll tell you. I bet some unknown quantum particle caused an atomic level spontaneous combustion!
I might be dumb, but even I'm not dumb enough to believe that. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell her or we won't make any headway. Why don't you? <sighs> Fragments near the body. Where's the bomb? Bomb, 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 bomb. Fragments. Let me check this one. Uh, it should have been noted that that the bomb was which was removed. Disappear from the gym. It's hard to imagine those two are unrelated. It's probably just this one. I got it. Okay, there we go. After the explosion, we found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? Right. That fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. Huh? You know, I feel like I've seen something like it somewhere before. Because it's the time bomb we took from Monokuma. That's only natural. Because, of course... We saw the same thing when we dismantled Monokuma. It's part of a bomb. Oh, then the explosion was because of the Monokuma bomb. The Monokuma bomb, I like that name. Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the minute. They wanted the knife wound to look like the fatal injury so that we'd suspect Makoto. Oh no. And the only one who would benefit from that is the only other possible suspect. You, Kyoko. Uh, I mean, that's not true. Hold on a second, Byakuya. Okay, good, good. What's the problem? Well, I just feel like we need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the- Good, mother. good, good, Makoto, that's good. true. It's definitely bugging me. What really killed her? Fine, I have no problem with that. Let us continue the debate. It won't change the facts of the case regardless. Good, all right. Kyoko, what are you doing? Defend yourself. As much as I hate you accusing me, you gotta defend yourself. We need to determine what ultimately killed the victim. I need to concentrate. Ah. Then shall we continue the debate? Yes. The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined. The victim's correct. fatal injury, okay. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. The explosion didn't kill her, yes, correct. Well, yeah, she was already totally dead when that happened. Right. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? It's not the knife. Then there's only one other thing. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma. Right, bomb, right. That's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back no! of the head. No! No! And more no! than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds. Yes, yes, that's it, that's it, that's it. Wait, how am I supposed to contradict something? How am I supposed to contradict something here? Is it, I think we then take we the victim's the fatal injury? The victim's fatal injury. Oh, yeah, the victim's injury fatal injury. Correct. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Right? Yes. Well, right. Yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. Correct. Oh no, my extended warranty. Hey, how's it going, Minecraft Master? Then there's only one other thing. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma file, that's gotta be it. No. That showed she was hit on the back of her head. And more than that. No. The victim had suffered there. countless wounds across Fire! her entire body. No! Huh. What? You think there's some mistake lurking in what I said? Shoot. How do we how do we how do we prove this contradiction? Um then shall we Monokuma file debate? number five? Maybe it may... the victim's fatal injury. Exploded has yet body to be analysis? Correct. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. I guess. Um, exploded body analysis? Upper half, the body was soaking wet. No, this has nothing to do with that. Um, and then what else? I think we have to take one. Body before the explosion. Body, I think we, we definitely have to take one. Because they gave us less bullets this time. So I think it's definitely they want us to take something. Body before the explosion. Had a mask, the body, the knife, the start, stop wounding. Stop wound no, we know it was the it was the it had to be it had to be the multiple wounds. We it know that she was she's knife, she's right? fake Juko. Then there's only one other thing. Oh yeah. Um according to the Monokuma Is it? file, that's gotta be it. Maybe we use Monokuma file five? Oh, oh no 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 the, the seconds! And more than that. 
The victim had suffered countless Monaco with file five. No! Huh. What are you? Do you think there's some mistake lurking in what I said? I, I mean, we're trying to agree with them. How We can't really contradict. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. What, what do they want me to do? Well, yeah. She Maybe I'm shooting the wrong one? Dead when that happened. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? And then there's only one other thing. Maybe we have to agree oh, yeah. with him? Um, according to the Monokuma file, that's gotta be it. This? There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. What, what do you want me to do? Oh, maybe we have to grab then one and then shoot it at the victim's the fatal base. injury? The victim's fatal injury had the explosion didn't kill. Well, yeah. Uh, maybe we have to grab one and then shoot it the other way? Uh, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that maybe we grab one and then and Let, let's just try this one. The victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Think more carefully, but we already have the answer. We know it's fake Junko. We know it's fake Junko. We know that Junko was skewered by the the stabs of Grunger and by by Monokuma, and real Junko was uh, was the one who did it. We know that. We know that it's, it's fake Junko. The victim's fatal injury. It's, maybe we shoot this one. Correct. No, that's wrong. No, it's wrong. No, no, that is wrong. No, no, no. Mukuro died because of the blow to the back of the head. No, she, she didn't! She didn't! What about the wounds all over the rest of her body? No, she didn't! She didn't! She didn't, she didn't die! She died because she was stabbed because it was Juko! And and then the 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 the, 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 the monokuma and then it was all like stab, 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 stab. And then and then after that you you took the body out and you're like boo and you're like ah ba 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 and then the you know, but I, it was it was fake Juko! Fake Juko! Real Juko killed fake Juko! We know this for a fact! She was skewered exactly, Kemjo! We know it! We know this is wrong! This is wrong! <laughs> the Monokuma file makes it clear that those were <coughs> fresh wounds. It doesn't matter! Oh, yeah, good point. If they were old, I guess they don't really No, matter. they do matter! <laughs> It's obvious! It's so freaking obvious! And well, it's not actually that obvious. It's actually pretty unobvious. But no, no, no. It, we, it was, we know that it was J fake Junko killed real Junko. <sighs> oh, hey, how's it going? Uh, Layla? Uh, welcome in. Sorry. You caught me in the middle of a freak out. <laughs> Watch Biju Mike. I don't know who that is, but I'll definitely look him up. Okay, then we're safe in assuming the blow to the back of her head is what killed her. No, that's wrong! <laughs> I am going insane right now! I wish I... No, hey, listen! No, it's fake Juko! Fake Juko killed real Juko! Oh, no, no, other way around. Real Juko killed fake Juko! <coughs> anyway, how are you doing today, Layla? I'm... I'm going insane. How are you? <laughs> The murder weapon. You have a new subscriber? Thank you so much, Layla. <laughs> the Monokuma file says she was hit with a blunt object. I need to turn on the air conditioner. I am getting so freaking hot. It, it was, it was real Juko. Real Juko kills fake Juko. <sighs> and my real name is Shaylin. Awesome. Well, I mean, I'm going to call you Layla because it's easy because I can see it right there. But hello, Shaylin. Oh, I bet it was the pickaxe. No, it wasn't. How is that even possible? If you hit someone with that, it would cave their skull in completely. Well, maybe they held it the other way and hit her with the handle. No way. The balance would be all off. You wouldn't be able to swing it with any kind of power. Good. She knows her I physics. I wouldn't mind testing it on you if you want. No, thanks. I bet you just hit me with the metal end and call it an accident. Hey, look at that. 
I'd love to scoop out that nasty brain of yours, throw it on the ground and, and spit on it. Can can the stupid people stop debating so the smart the smart three people can go again? <laughs> I feel the same way. Looks like we're on the same page this time. Seriously? Thank you, Owie. We want to figure out what killed her, right? It just so happens we already know. Yes, it was the skewer. She was skewered. I knew we could count on you, Master. Oh my god, Toko. So what was it? Go ahead and tell them, Makoto. Surely you've deduced the real murder weapon? Why do I always have to do it? Oh, oh, I know the answer. But Makoto, why don't you do it? Uh, why do I have to do that, Biakuya? Because I said so, and I am rich. Are you gonna pay me? No. But when you're rich, you get special privileges. God damn it! The real murder weapon. It was the arrows. I got it! Mukuro was hit in the back of the head with something. And that's what killed her. And that something was... The titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. Uh, what if they switch so then fake Jungo can kill? I I think it's real. I think real Jungo is the killer. Arrow. That's what the culprit attacked Mukuro with? Indeed. There's no doubt about it. Are you sure? That sounds kind of weird. Hey! How dare you back talk, master? You have no right! I'm not back talking anything. I'm just saying what I think. You don't know much about Danganronpa? Honestly, this is my first playthrough as well. But I'm really enjoying the game. It's a really fun murder mystery. I don't blame Hina for doubting, because there's one more thing about that weapon. Hello, I was giving your brother talk about a game. Oh, awesome. Sorry I haven't talked about it. No worries. I'm so glad you're here, Kiyoma. Okay, okay, okay. The duct tape. I mean, I mean, I understand the logic that they're going with, but their logic is wrong. The titanium arrow. It was in the dojo locker, right? Cor uh, I, I mean, have no doubt that was the murder weapon. Are you sure? You don't sound convinced. Uh, the hey, how's it going, Cousins? Because well, in the Monokuma file, it said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal pipe. Yeah, you can tape right? them all together. It seems like an arrow would just be too thin. All right. No, that's wrong. You're right. Just the one arrow would have been too weak. That's why the killer used another weapon. Can I just pause quickly and ask you guys, is it okay to love Danganronpa and hate Danganronpa at the same time? Because I love this game, but at the same time, this game, I hate this game. Do you guys know what I mean? Do you, uh, do, do you? Do, do, you, do you guys understand what I mean? Because I love this game, but at the same time, oh my god, this game infuriates me. <laughs> Another weapon? Inside the dojo locker. Love a relationship. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad you joined, Layla. <laughs> okay. The killer probably uses duct tape to bind multiple arrows together. Bundling right. them together using the duct tape would right. easily create a single weapon as thick as a pipe. And that's exactly what the killer did. Uh, no. It's similar to fable about the bundle of sticks. One stick is weak. We put them together, and they become strong. It's meant to teach cooperation. Or murder. Damn, that's harsh. <laughs> harsh. Are you even mm. listening? Anyway, that explains the murder weapon. That's right. As for who the Wait, no, that's wrong. That stashed the weapon in the dojo locker... It was you, Kyoko. I've never been to the dojo. Well, that's a lie, but... Oh, no. You absolutely have. How can you say that with such confidence? Because we have proof, of course. Don't we, Makoto? The proof is proving her innocent, actually. Um... Hmm? What's the matter? Oh, Makoto doesn't want to implicate Kyoko, and I don't either, because I know she's not the killer! But I know I'm not the killer! That the conversation is going in the wrong direction! Surely you don't intend to protect a murderer. You know what will happen if you do, don't you? If you cover for the culprit, there's only one thing that can lead to. The death of us all, remember? Uh, of course I remember. Then show us. Show everyone the evidence that proves Kyoko went to the dojo. I have evidence. 
Evidence that Kyoko went to the- Do I show it? Do I show it? People call it dang it grandpa, I swear. They're dang it grandpa, I swear to frick. I got it. The one thing that proves Kyoko was in the dojo is- No, the, the conversation's going in the wrong direction, guys! Right here. The key to the dojo No, lock. no, no! And how does that prove anything? Because I found it in your room. It was in my room? Don't bother trying to play dumb. That key is just the final piece of the puzzle. Owie is a chub monster? Owie is cute, don't you dare. Your non-existent alibi, your clear motive, your attempts to frame Makoto for the crime. This all proves that you are the true culprit. You can't explain this away, so just give up. Subscribes cutely. Oh, that is very cute. Thank you so much, Layla. Thank you so much. I, I'm always so happy to see you guys enjoying this. Hold on a second. Not this again. You really are dead set on defending her, aren't you? No, it's not that I want to defend her. It's just there's one more thing I need to ask her. Kyoko, I want you to tell me something. Koizink's brought you to this? Last night, you were in my room, weren't you? Why? What were you doing there? That's what I need to know. I was just protecting you. Does she mean that though? Was she actually was she actually trying to protect us? Uh play Devil's Door. I'll definitely look that up. I'm not sure, but I'll I'll look it up. What? She was protecting me? She she loves me after all this time of harassing me? And being mean to me, she actually loves me? Does, then does that mean... She knew I was being attacked? And she came to my rescue. Could it... That be when... Which would mean that Kyoko... She killed someone for me? No, 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 no. The time for idle chatter is over. A verdict is close at hand. Wait. I'm warning you, don't make this mistake. I'm not the killer. I knew you were stubborn, but this is just getting ridiculous. Really? But you should know better than anyone I didn't do it. Can the you key. tell me I'm wrong? The key. I should know. The key. Yakuya should know better than anyone? What does that mean? Okay, once again, let's, let's implicate ourselves. <laughs> Junko down, this makes this life better. <laughs> Junko was my freaking waifu too, and then she died at the very beginning. Those words you just spoke, what do you mean? Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. Uh, not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya, what are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Uh, there's proof that you aren't the culprit. What you're saying? Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory earlier. Would block you. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker. Right. And then left the locker key in my own room. Locker Correct. key in my own room. Yeah, but she can't do that. Could I really have done that? I don't know what they want me to say though. Locker key in her own room. That's the contradiction. We're contradicting Kyoko to agree with her in theory, but what is the thing we have to shoot at it? Those words you just spoke. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. You're not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Do we shoot not the killer? Yeah. What are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. There's proof. Maybe. Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker. Right. And then left the locker key in my own room. Is this it? Correct. What, what, what do they want me to do? What is, what does that have to do? Are, are you not know what you're doing? Shoot. What, what do they want me to do? There is proof. There is. Those words you just spoke. What okay. do you mean? 
exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. Not the killer. What? You, I, I, you, you guys, you guys know what I'm trying to say, right? Uh, Byakuya had the key, and therefore Kyoko couldn't have gone into her room, into the room. I just don't know what they want me to do. Uh, uh. Kyoko's account, disguised dead body. You guys know what I'm trying to say, right? Byakuya, what are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me. Well, there's proof. Oh, Byakuya's account. What's Byakuya's account? Byakuya stated that there was no corpse in the garden just after nighttime, so it can be assumed that the murder must have taken place sometime after that. Byakuya also said he were in the gym in the entire night. No, that's that's not it. Unfortunately, let's see. Woodblock key. Is that what you're saying? When the body. It, it, it's definitely you choose one and shoot the other. Earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker and then left the locker key in my own room, correct? But could I really have done that? Maybe it's at the very beginning. I left the locker key in my own room. Those words you just spoke. What okay. do you mean? Exactly what I said. Okay. I'm not the killer. Not maybe it's not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya, what are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Yes, that there is proof. Is that what you're saying? Maybe it's not the killer. You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker. Okay. And then left the locker key in my own room. Correct? No? What what do you what do you guys what do you guys Waluigi Waluigi, unfortunately I've asked you several times not to write something like that, and unfortunately, it's not safe to have you say things like that. So I'm gonna have to, um, I'm going to have to put you in timeout for a bit. Okay. What do you, what do you want me to say? What do you mean? Exactly what I. Use um, please. Uh, Waluigi, please use this five minutes to calm down and uh, come back. Um, and you can come back when um, you know you've calmed down a little bit. She's not the killer. That's correct. You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya, what are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me. Okay. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Right. There's proof. Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory earlier. Wait, what do you want you me to do? I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker. And Maybe it's left the locker key in my own room. Maybe it's Correct? you take but not the killer and shoot there's I proof. Really have done that? Shoot there's proof with locker? Maybe shoot there's proof with locker? This is so, so you guys you, you guys know what I'm reasoning, what right? Mean? Exactly what I said. Okay, maybe I shoot there's I'm proof with locker. His you account, Byakuya's account, uh, Kiyoma, Byakuya's account isn't, it doesn't have anything to do with the key. Byakuya's account is just, there is no corpse in the garden, so it can be assumed that the murder took place sometime after that. He also said that, um, they were in the gym the entire night. But, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what they're trying to ask! Master would never hide something from me! There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Maybe... There's is proof? That what you're saying? There there is proof. There is proof. Okay. You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker and then left the locker key in my own wait, wait, room. Wait, wait, and left the locker Correct. key in your own room. We know that she couldn't have left the locker key in her own room. Okay, she couldn't left the locker key in her own room. She didn't let leave the locker key. Yes, we know that. We know that Byakuya has her key, so she couldn't go inside her own room to do that. But how do I, how do I, how do I, how do I prove that? Um, uh, no, no, don't search it up. Don't search it up. I'm trying to logic this one out. I, I, I um, uh, it's, uh, uh, you, maybe we take, I'm not the killer and then hit there's proof? Maybe? 
or take this proof and hit they're not the killer but oh the locker key in your own room okay so that. we've already done um both of those and shoot okay so we're we'll try this those words you just spoke what do you mean exactly what i said i'm not the killer uh, she's not the killer you should understand that more than anyone here Yakuya. What are you hiding? Maybe it's not the killer and Master, shoot there's proof? Never hide something from me. There's proof that you are the I killer. think? No? No? What if there's no right answer? Huh, I think there's some mistake lurking in what you said. This Danganronpa number one. You guys know what I'm trying to say, right? He has the key! He has the key! What? Nobody believes me! Nobody wants to hear what I have to say! We've come to the end of the debate. Well, the class trial is adjourned. It would appear that the one with the most- No, it's Juko! Guys, it's Juko! I'm telling you! Looks like the real killer gets to graduate. Congratulations to them. On the other hand, everyone now- What? No, no, must be punished. Is this really the end for all of us? Oh, I, 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 okay, try again. Okay. Okay, okay, we have, we have infinite help. <laughs> it's okay, we just try again. <laughs> Those words you just spoke. Okay, yes, exactly. yes, not, yes. You should understand. Master would need There's proof. There's proof. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. I, I didn't mean to shoot that. I didn't mean to shoot that. I didn't mean to shoot that. Those words you just Exactly. I'm not, but you should understand. Master would need There's proof that you are the cold. Maybe it's there's proof? No, it's Juko. I'm telling you guys. I don't know if you guys believe me. I'm not sure if you guys believe me, but some of you guys have followed my logic and reasoning, right? Those words you just Exactly. I'm not. She's not the killer. That's correct. What do you, what do you want? What does that have to do with what I said or do you just not know? Okay, let me look at the evidence that I'm given. Words. The, when the body was found. When the body was found, Makoto 7th, then we go to the dining hall, then we go to the gym, and then Toko goes to the pickaxe and then she discovers the body. Okay. And woodblock key. Woodblock key? Woodblock key. What is woodblock key? It was found in Kyoko's, oh wait, the decoration was found in Kyoko's room. Correct, we have already established that. It looks like it's actually with a key to one of the dojo lockers. Also correct, Kyoko's not the culprit. I know for a fact Kyoko's not the culprit. It was definitely Junko. I, 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 I I'm, 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 I'm so, it's so obvious, it's Junko. It's so, exactly why is, what why is, what, uh, I feel bad you know the answer. There, the, no, but the answer is wrong. It's Juko, I'm telling you guys. I don't know if you guys believe me, but I know it. It's Juko, I know that it's Juko. Oh my God. Uh, I am going insane right now. Oh my God. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya. Master would need me. There's proof that you is that, but you're, you stated that you said I hid and then left. Wait, maybe it's this? In my own room. Locker room in the Could own room. Could I really have done that? Those words you just spoke. Exactly. I'm not. The I think it's this. I think it's locker key to your own room. There's proof. That yes. You this one. Cold. What? No. What? <laughs> If I'm right, Kyoko wouldn't have been able to get into her room. How does that make sense? No! Hmm? Why not? Because she had given her room key to Byakuya. I see. So that's what you meant. And if I had the key to your room... Then obviously I had no way of getting in. Without my room key, I couldn't have possibly put the locker key in there myself. Am I wrong? How, do, how does that debate make sense? We're contradicting the word there's proof, but there is proof. So it's not a contradiction? What? 
Okay, you know what? You know what? Let's just go with it. Let's just go with it. It would appear not. Then you're finally starting to understand. Dang it, Arcane Bolt, you're always right. Then you didn't know the answer. <laughs> no, that's not actually true. There was a clear contradiction in what Kyoko just told us, an obvious lie. But this just isn't like her. Right. <gasps> she has the master key. She has the master key, so she could have still gotten inside. Wait, but that's not relevant to the case. That literally has no relevancy to the case. What we should do is, okay, Kyoko, Kyoko hasn't actually seen the body, right? She hasn't seen the body, which means she has no way of defending herself. Which means I should, I, it, should, it should be on me to defend myself. I should let Kyoko go here and wait. To save herself and with such a desperate lie, does she really feel that threatened? Because she, no, she's not the killer. It's Junko, I'm telling you, it's Junko. Or is it something else? Is there some deeper meaning hidden in what Kyoko said earlier? If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of the school will stay hidden forever because I'm so smart because I'm like the best, huh? Oh, this isn't arrogance, this is just confidence. This is a trap, okay. The mastermind's trap? The mastermind's trying to trap Kyoko? But what if it's not true? What can I do? Why is gravity going upside down? What should I do? What should I? The mastermind's trap. The victim was Mukuro. Kyoko well, killed her. What does Kyoko know? What am I supposed to do? Kyoko's lie. I'm the only one who knows it's a lie. I'm the only one who can expose it. Who died? Um, fake Junko. Uh, Mukuro. Who can I trust? What am I supposed to do? Then again, we've never really, we've never officially met Mukuro. The mastermind's trap. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if risk means solving the mystery, we can't live in fear. We can't live in fear, right? That's my saying. You, okay, Kyoko. Right, Kyoko, you and I are gonna work together on this one. That's right. Okay, we're gonna work together. Kyoko and I are gonna work together. The power of teamwork and the power of friendship. That's what's gonna solve this case. I have to decide right here to e expose Kyoko's love. No, 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 no. Oh, what? What? Pursue the lie? Or let it go? Run away! Run away! That's the only option here. No, running away isn't gonna solve any... No, no, run away! No, 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 this is the only option left! Please! No! Please! Please, let us go! Okay. Looks like we're in for the long haul because we're going to have to defend ourselves now. <sighs> All right, Kyoko. Okay, I'm going to trust you here. Okay, Kyoko? After I let it go, you better help me defend myself, okay? Okay, Kyoko? <sighs> let it go. I've made my decision. I have to believe, that's not believing in Kyoko. That's just, you know, we're gonna try to prove that neither of us did it. There's no way she would kill someone. That's right, that's right. Good, 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 good. There has to be some secret here. Something to do with the mastermind's trap that Kyoko mentioned. Well, does no one have a rebuttal? Yes, yes, I have a rebuttal. Monokuma file. Have you decided to accept her assertion as fact? Monokuma file, bring up the Monokuma file. I see. So you still refuse to accept it. I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room. That it was someone else. Okay, okay. But who else could it have been? I mean, Byakuya had a room key, right? You! What are you trying to imply? It, it, it could only be the mastermind! But of course, I have an alibi. From nighttime on, I was with you guys the entire time. 
Good, so it could only be the mastermind. Couldn't possibly have killed anyone or put the key in Kyoko's room. Okay, so it could have. Good. Someone had to put the key in there. There's only one other possibility I can think of. The mastermind! Someone could have had the key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to fight. No! Did we just kill ourselves? Did we just implicate ourselves? No, no, Byakuya, bad, bad logic, bad reasoning. No, Byakuya, we, we, oh my God, we just, we just messed up. Oh my God, no, 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 Byakuya, Byakuya, bad, bad, bad logic, bad reasoning. It, it had to be Makoto, right? No, 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 no. I don't see any other Sorry. Option. Sorry if you're talking. No, you're not talking too much. I love it when you guys chat. No, 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 no. There, the other option is Junko, the mastermind. Wait a second. You've got it all wrong. Let's think about it one more time. Yes. There's got to be a hidden side to this case. That's right. That's right. Bring up the Monokuma file. There are multiple wounds. Uh, uh, talk about the multiple wounds. Huh? A hidden side? First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. You all see it, don't you? Monokuma! Monokuma, don't break the rules now! Hero, who we didn't even know existed, suddenly shows up dead. And then we're thrown into a trial. And Kyoko even said, it's a trap the mastermind set for us. So that's why... Okay! Time's up! Huh? Wait. Time's up! Class trial's all over! Everyone can stop talking now! No. <sighs> <gasps> They're cheating! The mastermind is cheating! What? Time's up? Oh. What do you mean, time's up? There's no time's up. Since when have we- It's because you were late! So we had to push back the start time! Oh, no. So then, it's time for voting time! Okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. D did I just lose? Did I just Hello lose? Time? No, 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 I didn't. I did I just lose? I got an A. Oh, we can tie the vote. Good idea, Arcane Bolt. Let's all vote three and three. That way nobody can be punished. Now. Chosen as the blackened. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Hey, hold on! Makoto, like I said, run! Just run! What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? So who's my favorite character in this game? That's a hard question. I mean, I do like Junko, but we're just finally realizing that Junko is not Junko. But I also like, um... Wait, wait, hold on. Let me just check the report card quickly just to decide who my favorite is. I did like Mondo a lot. And I also like Chihiro a lot, too. Coincidentally, they both died in the same trial. <laughs> you think I'm the killer? Sorry, man. I'm too high for this. Yeah, sorry. It's, it's all your f f fault. No, 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 Byakuya, Byakuya, you believe me, right? Byakuya, Byakuya, we investigated together. We're homies, remember? Remember? You you read that thing in French and in, in return I kissed your feet? You don't remember that? Everyone, you're wrong. You got it all wrong, I didn't do it. Yes, indeed. Good job, everyone. Yep. They got it right! No. Oh. No. No. What? No. 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 Oh my god, they're cheating! That's not true. I, I know that's not true. None of this makes sense. This whole trial doesn't make sense. Kyoko, you believe me, right? Kyoko! Hey. 
It makes perfect sense. Shing. It's the same as always. It's just like all the other class trials, and it's gonna end the same way. Thrills, chills, kills. It's time for your heart-pounding, positively thrilling punishment. Wait, 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 why do I? Kill, Kyoko, defend me. You believe me? Kyoko. I don't expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. She's just accepting it. Kyoko? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Then what about all the other trials? All the other trials? If he's allowed to cheat once, he's allowed to cheat on every trial! All the other trials are illegitimate! Damn, this is some game over screen. Dang, this is a, this is a this is a hardcore game over screen. I got to say, I appreciate that. We'll just watch it through and then we'll restart. Oh my He's going to be crushed. And you know what the worst part of this this um this death sentence is? Not the crushing, but the thing that comes right before. You're just sitting there waiting for your death. Look, and she, he's not even allowed to look. He's not even allowed to look and know when. He has to sit the opposite direction and just like wait there. That is, oh my God. Oh, hey, sex ed. Oh yeah, oh, when the sperm meets the egg. Ooh, I, I, I know all about that. Oh, I'm sorry, Makoto. I'm sorry, Mako. What? Mini Chihiro! Mini Chihiro saved us! Well, we're probably gonna die like this anyway, so. Alter Ego saved us! That, wait, that wasn't a game over? That, that wasn't a game over? We actually, are we supposed to do that? That wasn't a game over? I thought, I thought that was just a really intense game over screen. Ha ha ha! What's this? What's going on? Um... Hey, um, what was that? Uh, um... Yeah, it had to be. This is... Alter Ego. Alter Ego! Is this some stupid virus from that stupid guy who we all thought was a girl, by the way? He must have planted it when he invaded my network. Damn it all to hell, I don't believe this! It would seem... It seems you finally made a miscalculation. Well, okay, Kyoko, you're kind of a jerk, but I'll, I'll let you go this time. Although, I will say that Makoto is probably going to die from the fall anyway. No, you miscalculated from the very beginning. What the heck? Oh, what was that? In other words... What I'm saying is, you shouldn't have underestimated Makoto Nayagi, the man I love. Hmm. Huh, why are you talking like you've already won? I barely felt a thing. It was a pinch and itch. The stupid virus is gone now. Got it? And so is Makoto! Maybe I didn't get to smash him flat, but you're never gonna see him again! Yeah! To waste away in a garbage-strewn pit! In a way, that's even better special punishment! <laughs> but it's still not enough. I'm still not satisfied! I'm gonna bring despair to the rest of you and the entire world! By the way, do you know we're watching this? It's like I'm on channel... It's on chan... It's on channel 65! At 9 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays, there's an hour-long special. <laughs> what did he mean by the hour-long special? Everyone knows that Danganronpa is currently being streamed on Mannequin's channel. I hear Mannequin's a great streamer. We should probably like and subscribe his video. Uh, what, uh, um, Kyoko, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, hey, Kyoko, what is the meaning of this? 
Just what the hell is going on? Calm down. It's okay. I was just talking about Mannequin's channel. You know, how we're being watched by, uh, audience right now. Huh? In other words... Now it's time for the mastermind to be ensnared. What? what did you say? What are you talking about? So... You'll understand everything soon enough. Very soon. Indeed. I guess we start over now? Hi, I'm Makoto Nayagi. This massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in the top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege, but for some reason it only brings in Japanese students. That is to say, if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend to this in, in this school. Well, actually three. The first one is to be Japanese. Two, you need to already be attending high school. And three, you have to be the very best at what you do. Like me, I have plot armor, and that's, the, that's what makes me the best. No ordinary student could enroll in here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with ultimate students was me, the ultimate protagonist. <clears throat> what? What? Where... where am I? I woke up with my head resting on a hard wooden desk. My body felt... heavy. It wouldn't be weird for me to zoink off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... I was just... What was I just doing asleep here right now? This wasn't any classroom I've ever been before. What the heck's going on? Ugh! I survived? Holy crap, I survived? Finally. Hey look, it's the rocket ship! Do you see on the very right, it's the rocket ship from the very, very, very beginning of the game where Monokuma was like, time to blast off! I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together again. And then, I was awake. Or was this just another dream? A dream inside a hopeless nightmare. No, this isn't a dream. I could tell because the stench invading my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. I was in a vast, dark cavern with the barest hint of light seeping in. Trash was piled high all across the area. Well, I'm trash too, so I'll fit in just fine. This must have been some of kind of underground garbage pit where rejected protagonists come. This is a heck of a situation to find myself in. But this was just the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be stuck in here till I wasted away and dr died? No, I can't let that happen. Not after what my good friend went through to save me. You mean Alter Ego or you mean Kyoko? Because Kyoko didn't do crap. I remember all too well what happened. Alter Ego saved me. He used up the last bit of his strength to do it. <laughs> By his luck, Makoto managed to live with the desk landing normally. <laughs> It's landing at like, it's going at a hundred miles an hour and just bee, just stops and it just lands normally. I can't give up now for myself and for my friend. And with that, my pursuit of survival began. Uh, thank you so much, Waluigi. Um, first was to start looking for a way out of there. Door. Rattle, rattle. Why do all the doors make the same sound? The same sound again. But no matter how many times I pushed or pulled, it didn't make a budge. Getting out of here isn't going to be that easy. Well, if I'm not getting out of here anytime soon, I better meditate. Oh, I better decide to look for some food. It's not a problem, Waluigi. Just don't talk like that anymore, okay? Not on the stream, at least. Um, there's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. Next, I search for some water. 
How can I be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are all around a bad idea? Well, I guess the worst case scenario, I get diarrhea. Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked on all sides. But that's not a reason to give up because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. And then he dies. <laughs> After making that proud declaration, the next thing I, I decided to do was sleep, sleep, conserve your energy. If you can't escape, sleep and hope someone saves you. Hey, look at that, using his brain. Go to sleep. My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to pass. All I did was sleep. Sleep in garbage. It feels like I finally found a place where I belong. I was like, I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign, not exactly. Ga crunch. Oh, we just get trash? Wow. <laughs> we just get more trash. What the? The strange sound pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. The pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Did something fall down over there? Something fell from above. What could it have been? Um, did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? I carefully stretched out my hand towards whatever it was that tumbled down here with me. Just a second. A giant piece of trash? Rude. Well, you deserved that after you pretty much killed me. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. It smells awful. Dang, nice hat. This place smells awful. Kyoko! Indeed. You look like you're doing better than I expected. What are you doing here? So... Isn't it obvious? I'm here to help you. I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Um, you have a really nice hat there. She gave a quick, uh, sharp shake to get rid of the trash, then faced me again. I'm relieved. You got the good ending on the case. See ya. You're heading out, Matt? Thank you so much for stopping by. Hey. First, I have something for you. A kiss. I mean, food. Go ahead and eat. Food! Thank you! I snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me, and you brought carbs! That's probably the most important thing to survive when you're, when you're on an abandoned island. Within seconds, it was in my mouth, making its way towards me towards my stomach. Wow, that really hit the spot. Now I've got the energy I need to keep, well, dang. Makoto is like unstoppable. Just like he's been not, what? He hasn't been eating for like two and a half days and all of a sudden bread. Oh sweet, now I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so you still haven't given up then? Of course not. After all, the fact, after all, the fact that I can keep going forward is, well, it's all that I'm good at. Mm -hmm. Kyoko ramen noodles. <laughs> ramen Kyoko. <laughs> no, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. Um, can we leave now? I better talk to Kyoko. I don't, I don't, I really am not in the mood to talk to her, honestly. She kind of just threw me under the bus. <sighs> Fine. But Kyoko, why did you... Try to kill me and then come to rescue me. So to pay a debt, or no, to atone. Atone? You. During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So you knew that I knew. Indeed. But even though I knew that you knew that I knew, I did nothing to help you. Um. I abandoned you. Don't say that. You didn't abandon me. No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save your own life. Finally, she admits it. Finally, she admits that she has been a bitch for this freaking long. Oh my God, can we stop being a bitch now, Kyoko? You were trying to save me and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. However. But listen, I'm not trying to make excuses. There was a reason I had to survive, no matter the cost. Why did you have to survive? It's true. 
I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. The reason I have to survive. In other words. Is because you have plot armor. What was that? Also, I came to do what I, I so that I can do what came, I came to the school to do. What? I knew when if you got executed, you wouldn't get executed because you have plot armor. Oh, I, I mean, I made up my mind to come to Hope Speak Academy on a very important reason. So you have a reason for coming to Hope Speak Academy? Indeed. That's right. At least, I did once. Once? I... Until recently. I forgot what it was. You forgot, but, but that's. I have no memory of what my purpose was. No memory? That's impossible. Flashback? Yes, this is another flashback. Then it's really true. You lost your memory. Makoto. Do you remember Koto? Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived in the school? We got knocked out. First thing. You're talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted. And I woke up and I was trapped here. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself. A disconnect. It would seem... Thinking back on it now, at that point, my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten that I love you. What? Um, I mean, I couldn't remember why I come to this school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. C can you go back to that first part? Um, but what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine that it happened by chance. It seems somewhat convenient. Y you mean your love for me? No, the amnesia. Are, y are you saying you think you lost your memory? Because Indeed. I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the mastermind. They stole my memory. But why would they do that? So I couldn't love you anymore and they could, I mean, I mean, there's only one reason, because my purpose and my ability. Somehow they would interfere with the mastermind's plans. So the, ma the mastermind, this, Stole them from you? However. And it could also mean somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of the school and the mastermind. Which is why I have to get them back. I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help? Because there was a possibility that one of us was evil. Why is that? If I did that and we all worked that one, the mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always a chance that one of us is actually the mastermind. What? Correct. Well, don't make too big of a deal of it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? If she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. Hey guys, can you keep the conversation on topic? The moment you guys started talking about something else, people left the stream. However... That being, that being said, there is a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? <laughs> because among everyone, uh, you were least likely to be the mastermind. It was just my intuition, but you're also frail and weak and, well, all around gullible and an idiot, so you probably weren't the mastermind anyway. I, I see. Your intuition was right, though. There was no way an ordinary kid like me could have been the mastermind. I understand i should understand everything my goal isn't to get out of here it's to stay here what if okay okay oh i'm going back to the to the space theory what if we're on a different planet and we can't survive in the atmosphere so we have to stay inside what about that maybe Maybe? Ah! It's just like the dream I had before, but... Why did that just happen? Listen. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, it's nothing. It is nothing, right? Hey. Even now, I still trust you, you know. It's just, I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. I know I never asked you for help the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. It would make sense for the air purifier, exactly! I think that's just her personality. You mean she's just naturally a bitch? You said you had a reason for doing that, for investigating on your own. How'd that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... I think there's still a lot I don't remember, but at the very least, 
I was finally able to recall my purpose and my ability. You mentioned your ability. I... My ability. What everyone should have known me for. I'm the ultimate bitch. What was that? Dang it. Cardian slip. I, I'm the ultimate detective. The ultimate bit uh, d detective Correct. Ah. Uh. And the reason why I came- Did I just say Cardian Slip? Sorry, I meant Freudian Slip. Oops. Cardi- Where did I come up with Cardian Slip? Cardian Slip? Where did I get that? Cardian Slip. Freudian Slip, right? Freudian Slip. What was Card- What is Cardian Slip? <laughs> reason why I came to Hope's Peak Academy. It's like, oh, let's be real here. Did anyone have any doubt she was the ultimate detective? Let's be real here. I theorized, oh, like, almost from, like, like, um, case two. I knew she was, like, an ultimate super cop or detective or something. You gotta go, but you'll watch this full stream later. Thanks so much for coming, Josh. Oh, whoops. I had to check that thing. I... correct. I love, you know, I'm not sure about this whole, like, um, reaction thing. I think it's kind of just the way to draw out gameplay, but you know what? It's okay. You got to find someone? Who? So... Well, it was the headmaster of Hope Seek Academy. The headmaster? You knew she was the ultimate b b d detective right away. <laughs> Why do you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my dad. What? In other words, I was separated from him as a child, and it turns out he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Kyoko's dad is Hope's Peak's headmaster? Then that explains why you act like this. Because you have daddy issues because he left so long ago. When Alter Ego told us how he thought the headmaster was involved, I... I will find a way. Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. What? No matter what the cost. So, Yoko, um, what's going on? It's another flashback, don't worry about it. I... My memory hadn't come back at the time, but when he said that, I felt... strange. It, it, it makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose for coming here was to find him. That makes sense! However... But listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear so there's no misunderstanding. I said that the headmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said what I felt based on what I'd seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. Then what did you see in there? So... The room had been ransacked. The shelves were a mess. The desk drawers were dumped on the floor, and he didn't even have a single picture of me. Not one. I thought that he would have at least cared about me. I grew up in the gnarly s I grew up in the gray streets of Chicago. He could have at least sent me a postcard, but he didn't. Why doesn't my father love me? Why doesn't anyone love me? Why don't you love me, <laughs> Makoto? What was that? I mean, the only conclusion I could is that someone who didn't know anything, uh, where anything was, had been there. Wait, the only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything was had been there. You mean the mastermind, right? It's true. That was my assumption, yes. And to confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor dorms using the key I found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. Is this some kind of map? Indeed. It's layout of the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. I like the puns too, Kemjo. I found it in the headmaster's room, along with Mukuro's profile and that key. The map on the second floor... The map that showed the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant for faculty use. Some of the staff must have had to stay overnight from time to time, and I figured the headmaster would have some kind of private room there. I assumed that if that were true, the room would likely hold more clues, so I went to check. Correct. And that's when I finally remembered. I remember that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So you went see there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room? However... But once I got there, I noticed the second floor of the dorms didn't have any cameras or monitors. So you know what they say, it's better when, something's, when someone's watching. We probably shouldn't do it on the second floor. So what was it like, not being watched? It's hard to describe. All I can say is... I... The moment I saw it, I realized... Ultrek, how's it going? 
whatever's going on in this school is more horrific than we ever imagined. What do you mean? So... You have to see it for yourself, and you'll get your chance soon enough. Sounds like it must be important, and really ominous. So, can we go now? However... Uh, okay. Oh, what was going on? It has to do with Mukuro Ikusaba, right? However... Just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. And I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right, but that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi. So who did kill her then? Junko! Junko. Jun okay, I've calmed down from earlier. I'm a little bit more calm. Anyway. What I can say for sure is the mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mukuro Ikusaba was to get me killed. Get you killed? I stole the key and disappeared, and in retaliation, they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. Correct. That was the point of the class trial. It was? The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean because of the school regulations, right? That's right. Exactly. With minimal restrictions, you're allowed to explore. Oh, they didn't want um, Kyoko to explore the second floor, but they couldn't exactly stop them because it wasn't against the rules. I see. In other words... That's like not washing your hands after you go to the bathroom. You shouldn't do it, but it's not like I can stop you for it. <laughs> the mastermind is adamant about following the rules, and with that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. The mastermind couldn't step in. That makes it sound... Like the mastermind also is bound by the school regulations, even though he's been cheating this entire trial. Hey. There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Mu Mukuro Ikusaba. Thank you for the manana. What, what is that? There was one point where Mukuro may not have become the victim. The killer was trying to frame Kyoko for my murder! I could have been you, Makoto. I could have been the victim? Indeed. You know what I'm talking about, right? Do you mean... When I saw you late at night and I thought you wanted to get in bed with me, but in reality you were just trying to protect me? Because... I... I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the God of Death. Excuse me? She has Shinigami vision? She has freaking Shinigami vision! What? I can hear the god of death as he moves. Hey, uh, Mega C! The ability draws me into cases just like this. Anyway. Which is exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms and suddenly I had a sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell and I saw a white shadow cross the corridor. I gave chase right away and as I followed it, I saw the shadow go into your room. Correct. I ran into your room, and I saw what was happening. She can see Ryuk? <laughs> oh yeah, Death Note! Yeah, she can see Ryuk! I intervened immediately, of course. However... That wasn't the end of things, of course. I stopped them, but that led to... Whoever the mask assailant was, they ended up dead. That is wrong! Correct. And their murder was disguised, and the dojo key wound up in my room. It has to be the work of a mastermind. Yeah, Makoto could have been the victim. Wait, so I could have been the victim? Why didn't you wake me up? Seeing you fighting would have been kind of hot. I mean, uh, all this would have meant that Mukuro is also the mastermind. Indeed. I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. I forgot the body expl- yeah, the body kind of blew up. But it'd be really bad if it was true. I mean, the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. But wait, doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the class trial to try to kill you, but they couldn't interfere. Correct. You're right. That is a contradiction. You know who really likes those? Who? Phoenix Wright. Have you ever played his game? Yeah, I've played the first one, and the second one is coming up soon on Mannequin's channel. And it's not just, and it's not just Mukuro. They needed the class trial to uh, kill me, but they seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. 
just was a funny uh, little boom boom. <laughs> just a little bit. What does that all? What does that all mean? It means the mastermind's the one who's been cornered. Dun 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 Ultimate despair. The other ultimate despair? There's no doubt that Mukuro was ultimate despair. That she's dead. But I don't think the ultimate despair. Is it an organization? The ultimate despair is like a company. That must be it. It's not? Indeed. If you think about it, ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking That's about right. what happened a year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Which was mostly like the killing of 15 kids, but I mean, there's been way worse things than that, like in World War II, but I mean, we're really arrogant, so we're gonna call this one the worst. The tragedy, whoever's responsible for that, their ultimate despair? The despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Then they're. Indeed. Wait, they're terrorists that just do terrorist acts for fun? What? Oh my god, they're just terrorists that do terrorist acts for fun. Howie, she's still here. She's still around. We just have to find her. Make no mistake. They're the root of all the evil that has forced us to go through this. That, that is ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. What? That was the end of chapter five? That was such a weird ending. We have plenty of time, so let's do chapter six. Hey, we got the rocket! I was hoping we would get like, a Makoto's lucky handkerchief or something like that. The ultimate despair. A group of people who caused the tragedy. Those same people put us into this killing game and then began broadcasting it? The most despairing, desperately awful group of people ever. That is the Mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now? Anyway. Right now we have to get out of this horrible place. It's better than Makoto dealing with something. Oh, I guess. Figuring out the rest of the story can come later. Yeah, you're right. Can we leave now? Nope. Kyoko, Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that got you from the head in from the headmaster's mm -hmm. room? Of course I do. What, you think I'm an idiot? Oh, God, where is it? Damn it, I left it on my nightstand. Um, uh, this is bad. Uh, maybe we can call, um, Byakuya. Uh, Byakuya, B Byakuya, please, please, we're trapped down here. <laughs> it's an absolute vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. And it can and can open any door with the school, right? That's right. That's right. Then we should be able to get out of here. And we should be able to use it on the door. Can we go now? Kyoko, we can use that key of yours. It's Click. True. Let's find out. That would be funny. <laughs> and it'd just be like game over. That's the end of the game. Kyoko took the key with the Monokuma design and slid it into the keyhole. And then... Click! It opened! Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. What I missed and why are we in a dumpster? Well, we missed nobody listening to my theory that Junko is the killer because they were all like, no, it was, it was, um, the, 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 the killer is, uh, Mukuro. And they were like, but they couldn't connect the, make the connection that Mukuro and Junko are the same, even though they're not, which means there's a second Junko. So we got, executed and even though we got executed we didn't get executed because alter ego hacked the execution and saved us and but we fell into a garbage pit and it, it was weird we quickly opened the door and made our escape in the garbage pit finally we're finally free but there wasn't time to take a breath of a relief because the real fight was just beginning what 
Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. Wait, 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 wait. we're going right into deadly life? Don't we get a daily life? What, what about, what about, what about, um, what about free time? After leaving the garbage, after leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extend, extending straight up, almost like a chimney. Execution countered by, yeah, plot armor level luck. There was a metal ladder leading to up to the tunnel. We started climbing, the ladder intently, intent on reaching the surface. Uh, um... Uh, um, well, that, that's, that's a shot. Okay, um, anyway, where were we? Um, the ladder was impossibly long. I couldn't even see where it ended. We climbed into the darkness. The passes were so dark and cramped. I couldn't even see my own feet. The lucky strand of hair. He has one lucky strand of hair and it never comes off. I had no idea we were so far down. Hey. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Oh, I wanted you to catch me so I could be in your arms. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. M maybe talking will help me keep my mind off it. Um, Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. Um, you said there you're the ultimate detective, right? How long have you been doing detective work? How long? So... Long enough to know that there's a camera and people are watching uh, watching me from under my skirt. So I put a, a very convenient shadow there so they can't see anything. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then your family's famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Oh, they don't, they aren't known. Nobody want, they don't want to be known. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? Right. Because we take pride in it. Right. If you people know that you're a detective, they're going to be act differently around you. Pride? Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That's how we can recover the absolute truth. Did you hear that from an anime? Yes, Gorin Lagan. Um, we also stand neutral on all things. And to do that, we have to separate from the rest of society. Did you, did you get that from an anime? Yes, Death Note. Which is why we've made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort? It's true. It's kind of old fashioned. I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family creed, so we must do what we have to do to protect it. Because like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride. You know that's a sin, right? I know. I love it. So, so that explains... Before I came here, when I was looking up above the school about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the family. However... And yet, I gave up some of that pride. Huh? What do you mean? I... In order to end Hope, enter Hope's Peak Academy, I had to reveal myself. Oh, that's a good point. She had to be scouted. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri would never do. But the reason you gave up on that pride, the real reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak, was because of how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect? I have absolutely no desire- Oh man, the daddy issues to reconnect with my father. Huh? But you would be reuniting with him after all these years. You you'd have so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However... There's something I want to say to him, though. I'm done with you. What? I... No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. What, what is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him. I've done that before, by the way, and it's, it's really sad. Dang, Kyoko, I didn't know you felt this way, man. I've had to sever ties with people like similarly. I just say like, look, bro, I can't hang out with you anymore because you do terrible things or you do this or you do that. Yeah, and sometimes it's rough. Sometimes it is really rough, but you know, sometimes it's, that's what you have to do. And if it's for the best, if you think it's for the best, then I'm not gonna like support you or deny you, but I'm gonna say all the more power to you. <sighs> I want to sever all ties with him. Sever? The last time I saw him, he said he was going to get the milk. So I don't remember. 
but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in the line of work. Uh, he was in the line to become the next head of the Kitigiri family. He was talented, and he had a promising fu future. However... But he had no interest in detective work. So he went and bought some milk, but it's taken him 10 years to come back. Ultimate talents... You know, that is not entirely false. When you're a genius, when you know how to do things, your brain also works in certain ways, and sometimes those ways aren't good. Not long after that, my mother died, and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather, and they had a huge argument. I was young, and he left me behind. I never got that milk. I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad um, just wanted the best brand, and um, they were out of stock. Right. If that's true, I need to thank him. Thank him for buying me the best, best brand. Because unlike him, I like to drink high quality milk. And I also take pride in my family's name, but that was irrelevant. So every last part of me is happy that he didn't come back without the best milk. If I had gone with him, I might have gotten only half good milk. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression. I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how, how she looked when she was, when she said that, how she might have been feeling. All I could tell her was that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative, more emotional. I... I don't blame you, you know. Um, we had a limited number of supermarkets. Uh, that's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not However... true. There was one thing. One thing I could never forgive. Really? So... The way everyone looked at me. I was never sad that he never came back with the milk, like I said. I think it was a good However, thing. But when my family looked at me, they saw something else. They only saw me as dry cereal. That's how they see me even to this day. I... His shadow has been following me my entire life, and I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to step out of this shadow. Correct. That's why I have to find him and tell him, I'm not dry cereal. I found my milk in order to settle the past, in order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt he forgot me all these years. But your family, you just cut him out like that. Wrong. Our connection is only through blood, nothing more. Are we connected by uh, milk and cereal? No. Hey. Is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood not by the purchasing of milk, huh? I was so shocked to hear her say something like that. I didn't know she was so into dairy. So instead, I said nothing. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. After I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Okay, I'm just gonna stay right now for the record. For those of you who actually wanted a serious scene right there, I. I sincerely apologize. I sincerely apologize if you actually wanted like a sincere scene with like real character development. I sincerely apologize. I see how she's developing as a character. She's more talkative. Um, she's been like, you know, she's more like willing to open up and I think that's a good thing. But I uh, sincerely apologize for turning that into a joke about dad getting the milk. I sincerely apologize. Indeed. <laughs> it's okay, man. <laughs> On the other side of the store. Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We're That's back! Right. Remember the hatch to go on the ground near the trash? I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. I unlocked it earlier, so it should be open without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I reached my right hand and pushed against the hatch. Wait, it's not opening! Byakuya must have locked it! Byakuya! Byakuya! You idiots! I'm gonna leave now. And now the hatch opened without ease. With ease! You like how she talks to Makoto more? <laughs> I do too. Looks like we're back. I can't believe how long the ladder was. I'm exhausted. I can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but we're out of there. Now we're back in Hope's Peak. Kyoko, thank you. I would have never gotten out of there without you. No thanks was necessary. I was just returning the favor. Anyway, shall we go? 
So what's the next step? One. Oh, okay, fine. We gotta talk to Kyoko. Okay, okay, Kyoko, I forgive you. I forgive you. You saved my life. I saved yours, right? I'll pat your back. You pat my back. Okay, we're good. So what do we do now? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but the ma if the mastermind finds out, and I'm worried about you too. You helped me, so they might- see. You're worried? Yeah, of course! So then... Then let's just get a concrete answer. Huh? In other words... Let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Wait, wait, that's... However... If we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we're found out anyway. It's not like we can run. But I tried to run! There was the run option! But nobody let me take it! Run option? What are you talking about? On the menu screen! You know, you know, sometimes what I'm thinking? Um, I, I, there's a menu screen open and I'm making choice selections. Is that what you're doing when you're standing there and doing absolutely nothing? Um, yes? I see. You're more insane than I thought. A as she said that, she pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stress out by getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry, what you think is going to happen isn't. Because... Because the Mastermind is the one that's ensnared. Mastermind's ensnared? You said something like that You said something like that before, what does it mean? So... The Mastermind stood, exposed during the investigation. But he's a bear, he doesn't wear clothes! That's not what I mean, Makoto. Um, during the Mukuro's death. There was a moment where the Mastermind let their guard down. There was? Right. If we can talk Mono to Monokuma, we can confirm it. And it'll be best for better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with negotiation. I'm still a little, no, super uneasy about this, but we don't have much of a choice, do we? Indeed. Monokuma should be in the gym. He likes to work out on Saturdays. Shall we go? Let's go. All right. I guess it's off to find Monokuma. Uh, is anyone else here? Where's everyone? Where's everyone? Let's go say hi to them. Here. Here. Nope. Here. Nope. Here. Nope. Here. Nope. Here. No. Where are they? I guess they're not showing me. Oh, well, whatever. This way? Yeah, this way. All right. Woohoo! Bring him Chick-fil-A and Monokuma will let you go. It works every time. Okay, I'll head to the fifth floor first. Uh, Mega C Gaming. I'll get some chicken. Shall we go? We need to go to the gym. To Monaco. But, but we need to get him fried chicken. That way he won't be as mad at us. That's a good point. I already got it. Oh, wow. You think of everything, Kyoko. All right. It's time for the face off. Is this is this the real confrontation? Oh, well now, well now, well now. Is, is concentration? Is this the real confrontation? Is this like the re? Are we finally gonna fight the mastermind? Are we finally gonna go after the mastermind? Wait, why hasn't Monokuma executed everyone yet? Because they got it right. Uh, Monokuma claimed that I am the killer. Hey, 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 hey! Kyoko, I don't mind so much. But Makoto's going to be supposed to be dead. What's he doing here? Uh, this is exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really going to be okay? You're supposed to be. Wait, did you bring Chick Fil A? What? So what if I did? What will you do? <laughs> I think every time I ad lib, Kyoko responds correctly. Every time I've ad-libbed something, Kyoko actually makes a reasonable response. <laughs> Shing! Um, well, since you brought Chick-fil-A, it's unfortunate. I still have to follow the rules, but I'm gonna eat it. So now it's time to punish you again. This time, I won't leave anything to chance. Kyoko, do whatever you feel you have to do. God damn it!
What? However. But before you do, let me just say one thing. No. Yeah. If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that it matters, right? Huh? Huh? I lose. Hey. You explain yourself. What do you mean by that? Because... Well, you set up the latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in her way. You want an excuse to kill me. In other words... I was supposed to be chosen as the Blackened, and then executed. What are you talking about? However... But when Makozo chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. <laughs> because you never imagined that in that position, one person would protect a bitch like me. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. you reacted by claiming Makoto the Blackened, and you tried to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation, no more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. Huh? However... But there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity that would throw a wrench in your, so to speak, precious execution machinery. Alter Ego? <laughs> You never imagined the possibility of being, of a being that could come to our aid even after you'd killed it. Am I wrong? Now here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't murder Mukuro, you did. What? Listen to me. So executing Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the Blackened is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? And that means I lose? You talk a big game. You say the Blackened is me and not Makoto. Well? And you can prove this? Well. No. <laughs> Don't just say it like that. What is this, a comedy routine? Yeah, I'm the straight man. To make such a bold claim without a shred of evidence. That doesn't matter. I don't have any right now. But with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there is only ever one absolute truth. And now you're talking like some kind of famous detective. Because... If Makoto was really the killer, he would have never come to you willingly like this. When you finish this series, I'm going to make a compilation of you reacting to the deaths and executions. Oh no, but thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> he would have tried to run and hide. Welcome back, Lila. You would have been gripped by the despair you love so so much to inspire. Make sure you post when you do that. Make sure you post it on the Discord. You would have been gripped by the despair you love. However, but here we are confronting you with nothing more than hope in our hearts. God, I hope he buys this bluff. What the? Heck? And that's supposed to encourage me enough to convince me the in the absence of evidence. Indeed. No, I'm not trying to convince you. Hey. If you were to execute me, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Huh? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you ate Chick-fil-A because everyone out there knows that Popeyes is better Would they assume that you ate Chick-fil-A just because I offered it to you as a bribe? Listen to me Chick-fil-A can never kill Popeyes Hey. Of course you can say we're making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong But you have no choice but to prove it because if you kill Mokoto without proving uh, your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. If this takes all night, I'm staying up. Well, we'll probably stop at around the trial time, like before the trial starts or something. If you want to earn our fair and square despair. That's what we have to do. Fair and square despair. Dang, I'm a rapper. I'm a fair, I got fair and square despair. Um, nobody's ever gonna wear my hair because I got the swag in there. Ah! Uh. <laughs> I suggest you take my advice. Uh-huh. So what is this advice of yours? To do Mukuro's trial over again. Also, Popeyes will always be better. Uh, only this time, you follow regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. One, One final fi battle between hope and despair. Hey, Penguin. Hey. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial? One last showdown? In other words, this will be a our chance to expose the true identity of Mukuro's killer. The mastermind. Monokuma is Nikado Avocado? I don't know. He's not round enough. But what reason would the mastermind have to accept this challenge? 
He'll probably just execute me with an un without another word. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Barry? What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change up things. It's time for some bear jokes! No! You'll do a speed paint of the epic poster? That's awesome. I'm looking forward to that. Now, what you've suggested might be possible. It would make for a certainly make for one honey of a climax. In other words, does that mean you accept? You guys! If we do things your way, will that be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would you cause you unbearable despair, right? Then I'm prepared to agree to your terms. <laughs> will you hope? Will your hope win out? Oh. Will Popeyes be uh, declared number one? Oh, will wait. Will Chick? Will Popeyes Chick uh, w win number one, or will my Chick Fil A claim victory? I can barely contain Let's myself. have one final Grizzly showdown. He agreed. Then we still have a shot at this. We can still advertise Popeyes. Bear it. But this is the long-awaited climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting end. Guys. So the final face-off, you'll have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries? <laughs> That's right. Every last mystery. Like why there are only Popeyes in bad locations and why can't they put more in decent locations so everyone can have access to those chicken sandwiches? That's why Chick-fil-A is the best. I can barely contain myself. Then you'll be enough to qualify as a victory. It's true. That's what we've been trying to do all along. Those are some very good po- oh, Kyoma, not you too. <laughs> oh, well, good. Let, let's bear it all! I don't need to, though, because I'm always naked. If you can claw your way to the truth of Mukuro's death and solve the debate between Popeyes and Chick-fil-A, then you win. <laughs> but if you can't do that, we'll all have to. Popeyes will go out of business. No, you'll ex get executed. Darn. I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? We're excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. We've uncovered every last truth. When we've uncovered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I, I honestly can't believe how this turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that for sure, so what? Hey. I just want to confirm, that is what you said, and that is a true statement, is it not? Oh boy, Kemjo. Oh, you like Popeyes? I do like Popeyes. The problem is, where I live, there's only Popeyes in really, really, really remote and like bad neighborhoods. So I have no problem going there, but it's just like, it's just annoying to go there. It's all grungy. But I mean, their chicken is amazing. Um. <laughs> you had don't have to be suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on school regulations. And having a trial for Mukuro is no exception to that. Huh? Mukuro's trial is no exception? It's part of the regulations? Watching your baby sister. Hello, baby sister Layla. <laughs> Which would mean whoever killed Mono <laughs> Mukuro. <laughs> That was a very polarizing approach, bringing up the chicken sandwich debate, but enough puns, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students, and the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak Academy since the killing game began are those 16 students. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why do you go quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm really angry! I'm done talking! I've got nothing to say to a Popeyes lover! So get lost! Would ya? I'm going to Chick-fil-A! Why so mad? <sighs> he seems emotionally unstable. Hey! Leave me alone! I'm gonna get that chicken sandwich! Okay, I'm just gonna... You're, you're really gonna let me go? <sighs> I don't even care anymore. You're all gonna get your 
You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair. <laughs> hey. Come on, Makoto. Let's go. <laughs> Wait until Monokuma realizes it's Sunday. No! <laughs> Rip those chicken sandwiches. Monokuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. And just like that, we were out of the gym. I could hardly believe it, but I ended up not getting executed? I still have my life, and I, I, we still have a chance. Overall, tur way, things turned out way better than I expected. Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Of course we talked to Kyoko. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. However, Don't thank me yes, just yet, but I knew that chicken sandwich would come in handy. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. <sighs> but I'm still glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? They don't stand a chance... They don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown. So... They had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because... It's all because of that moment the mastermind let their guard down. <laughs> so when did the mastermind let their guard down? So... I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the mastermind said? They said they hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school life to the outside world. Yeah, they definitely said that. Hey, listen. What do you think? And what do you, did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I... I mean, the idea of actually taking over airwaves is unbelievable. Indeed. You don't exactly... You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often. It's hard to imagine. In other words... That kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. However... And yet, somehow, the Mastermind was able to do it. In other words... But think of it another right? There must have been some reason they had to do something like that difficult. A reason? So... They had to show the world something, no matter the cost. Us killing each other. Can you eat Monokuma? I don't think he's made of meat. This Krispy Kreme kind of good? Krispy Kreme is kind of good, but I'm trying not to eat it because, you know, trying to be healthy. They wanted to show the world? The Mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all the rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations don't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and to show that off to the world. But, but why? To prove a point, most likely. Prove a point? Hey. The outside world has a name for the students of the Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept. You're talking about hope! That's right. And for those of us who represent hope to decide to kill each other and sink to despair. The Mastermind wants the world to see that and to try to prove that despair is better than hope. What a trivial reason. Hey, you want to see these 16 kids kill each other? Oh my god, we... That's literally us. We are watching... We are watching this right- That's literally us! Oh my god, I am a terrible person. I am enjoying this game where teenage kids are killing each other. They're, that's their goal, as the ultimate despair. What?! They want to prove that des They want to prove that despair is better than hope! Fourth wall go- that's ridiculous. It's true. KFC? Oh god, we got a third debate. You're right. It is ridiculous. Completely irrational. It's kind of the thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. You feel bad? Why do you feel bad? That group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But is that really the only reason for making the rest of us suffer? Makoto. I know how angry it must make you, and yet... The same motivation is what led to the Mastermind revealing their weakness. What? In other words... Because their goal is to broadcast the killing game to the world. And the Mastermind has had to be more particular than ever about their own regulations. If the Mastermind simply ignored the rules, they wouldn't have been a game. It would have just been a one-sided slaughter. At that's true! Least. At least, that's how those who are, who are watching this would have seen it. 
That's why the mastermind couldn't kill any of us them. That's why the mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves? Indeed. That is precisely the reason. No matter how much they may hate doing it, I haven't violated a single rule of their regulations. Junko broke the rules, so she was pun- Hmm. So interesting. So interesting that you bring up Junko's picture right now. Hmm, I wonder why. I wonder why you're bringing up Junko's death right now. Hmm, maybe because I was right and nobody- Ah! Nobody went with the argument! Ah! Ugh. Junko broke the rule so she was punished. But in my case, she couldn't lay a finger on me. Right. So they, described, they decided to use the... So they tried to use the class trial to follow all their proper rules to get me killed. They began a trial that didn't have a right answer, and they made me out to be a killer. But even that didn't work. It's true. Yes, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you, which was also was not the killer. And when the fact that and when that fact was exposed on live TV to the out, entire outside world, the mastermind had the mastermind had to accept your suggestion. Indeed. To prove, uh, to to prove to the world that despair is better than hope, they have to defeat us in perfect form. In other words, it would only do to the mastermind's harm to have it shown that they violated their own regulations. But all that was just a hunch. And you were still able to get the mastermind to accept your challenge? You're gonna make you're gonna wish blood was pink. However. Goes to space watching this live. <laughs> well, it's only thanks to you that we got that chance. Because you believed in me. Another path opened. Still, I can't believe how much of the mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. Wrong. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It's just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. Ooh. But it looks like I got it right. So you were betting with my life, Kyoko? Yeah, that's right. But are you good at gambling? No, I probably should have asked Celeste to do that. But Celeste is dead. Yeah, that's why I was afraid you would die. She let out a quick sigh. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous for a long time. I, to I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seemed totally confident from the moment we decided to go in and talk. Well, presenting a small, strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Plus, if I showed my uneasiness, I would have just made you that much more money. Oh, money. Hold on, hold on. Give me like three seconds to compose myself. This has been a lot of reading. <laughs> it would have made that much more money. <laughs> Plus, if I showed my uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> anyway, we can't just relax yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win. Correct. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. If we can't defeat the Mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There's no other option except to win. Before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others. Anyone else blurry? True, but now we know who our real enemy is. All we have to do is work together with everyone to destroy the mastermind. Work together with everyone. However. Is that really possible? Huh? Anyway. Anyway, right now we have to find the others. Shall we go? They're probably sitting in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? All right, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break, and then we are going to start our pursuit against the mastermind, and then we're going to call it a day.
everybody! I'm back! And I am refreshed as, every as ever. Guys, you're flooding! You're flooding my toilet! Don't do it! Don't do it, everyone! <laughs> Thanks for all the flushes. Alright, here we go! You guys ready? We are going to take down the real mastermind. Junko! 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 Here we go. Let's go to the dorms. Wait. How do you beat Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask? If I told you, it wouldn't be fun. All right, let's give it a shot. Um, uh, uh, sorry, um, uh, just give me a second, okay? Uh, Makoto, are you seriously gambling right now? I'm sorry, it's, it's, I don't have a problem. Do I simp Junko? Junko is still my darling. And get, wait, just think about this, right? Now I don't have one Junko, I have two Junkos. So who better to simp for? Oh, 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 yes. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, man. It's not that bad. <laughs> Makoto, please, we have to start our investigation. Just, just give me a few more. Five more dollars, five more dollars. Oh. Makoto, that's what gambling addicts say. Last one. Okay, I'll be back later. Okay, anyway, I should probably get going. Makoto, I made a mistake rescuing you. <laughs> you simp 3D uh, Monokuma? Is there a 3D version of him? Because so far he's all just been a piece of cardboard cutout. Okay, so let's look for Aoi. Aoi? Right here. This is Hina's room. Is she inside? Hey. I don't think she's here. We should keep looking. Then maybe. Bathroom? Oh, laundry room. Hey, look! It's Junko's face! Yeah, you can even tell it's different! I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but... That's Junko here. And that's Junko there. You can tell it's different. Her eyes are larger in the in the photo. Although, I mean, uh, this Junko's eyes are pretty cute too. So, I mean, what can I say? Kyoma says dining hall. Oh, that makes sense for the meeting. I want Sakura's Revenge. I do want Sakura's Revenge. Too bad they canceled it. Guys, buy Rumpa so they can fund Sakura's Revenge. <laughs> And suddenly, we were greeted with... You again? If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. Then dial your... Do -do -do. Oh, you guys might be you, you guys you guys might be a little bit too young for that. Do you guys know what I was saying? You know, back in the day, we didn't have cell phones that can just take messages. Back in the day, when you made a phone call and there was someone in the on the other line, you wouldn't connect with them and you'd hear a tone and you couldn't leave a message. You just have to wait for them to get off the phone. Do you know what else? Um, back in the day when there were phones, right? Sometimes if a phone wasn't connected, uh, they would just play, if you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. I, I heard that so many times. It's like, it's like stuck in my brain. <laughs> I suppose emotional instability has reached its limit. 
What the heck was that? However... Hey, Tin2K11, hello! Thank you so much for joining us! Um, can I play Free Fire? I'm not sure what that is, but I mean, you guys always suggest uh, games that I don't know, so sorry I don't know it, but I'll look it up. I'll definitely look it up. Back in the day, I'm not that old, Camjo! I couldn't help but let us out a sigh of relief. Ah. Oh. <gasps> is that Makoto? It's my lover! It's also Toko, Aoi, and Yasuhiro. I, I mean, what? I mean, what? Uh, um, I mean, hey, hey, guys. Is, is that Makoto? You guys! It is! There's no two ways about it. That's Makoto. Huh? You survived? I can't believe Toko's actually kind of happy. What the heck? Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? Oh, that's what he says in the bedroom, too. I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? Oh, my God. I, I swear to... I swear to God, if you say ghost one more time. Everyone was there. All my friends who struggled to get together and survived. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. What? What is that smell? What the heck? Yeah, man, you seriously stink. Uh. What, this episode? This is uh, chapter six, I think. It's Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. Yeah. Get away. Shoo. And in a flash, my tears dried up. Boop. <laughs> All right. Explain to me what's happening. There's no time to indulge in a happy extended reunion. We need to give an explanation to everyone about what happened to Monokuma. Yes. Explain? Explain what? Hmm. But is it okay that you're here if the mastermind catches you? It's true. It's related to what I have to tell you all. I need to tell you all about the la I need to tell you all about the last class trial. Huh? Last class trial? In other words. We're going to redo Mukuro's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? That's why he's a ghost right now. Everyone's standing far away from me. No, I didn't do it. I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer. And of course, it's not me or any of you. Huh? Th then who did it? I see. What she's saying is it's all the work of the mastermind. Huh? What? You're saying that the mastermind killed Mukuro? That's right. That's right. It was all an elaborate trap. Contrived by the mastermind who is Junko and Oshima. I've already worked that out But I decided not to say anything about it because well I'm just want to keep the trial going for a little bit longer and watch um, Makoto get executed. I Think that this is definitely not the final episode because I'm gonna be stopping soon Makoto spotted the trap in time and what and he did what he had to do to stop it However, however his decision would mean that he would be the one to die. What, what did you, you spotted say? the trap did you Makoto? You sound like, you, uh, you sound, you make it sound like it was easy. I just, you know. However. But executing Makoto, who wasn't the blackened, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules state that the only the blackened is the one to be executed. <clears throat> Which is why I went and negotiated with them to have one, one more trial. Huh? And the mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? <clears throat> They had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. That's what you were referring to. Don't be mean. Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. This is no surprise. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you just ask Kyoko to explain it later. You, behind the screen, if you're too stupid to understand this, why don't you ask Makoto, why don't you ask, um, uh, Kyoko or, uh, Makoto in one of those cutscenes or flashbacks? Yes, Byakuya, I'm sorry, Byakuya. Mm -hmm. So, so, knowing all that, what do we do now? That's what <laughs> Mukuro said the entire, yes, <laughs> Makoto said the entire trial. I 
Uh, I swear I'm starting to regret sticking with Hiro. <laughs> About that. About who killed Muguro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind? Is this being broadcasted? Uh, um, uh, um, uh, no, no, no? Hmm. But there's one, there's more than that to it. There's more to it than that, correct? Uh, yeah. For us to win, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Every last mystery? But well, we've been looking around all this time and we don't know anything. I think you guys know a lot already. You've probably guessed, but if we lose this, uh, if we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh. Everyone? We hate you. Hey, who said you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of us? Yeah. I'm fine with the way things are. I'm fine living here forever with Master. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway. 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 To un at this point, our only way to survive is to unravel the truth. <laughs> hey, Meep. Interesting. In other words, one decisive battle. A rather interesting development, I say. But... but... But figuring out who the mastermind is, and how they killed Mukuro, and solving the school's mysteries? Uh, it's pretty... It's pretty tall freaking order. But maybe, you know, this time will be different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Huh? I... I can't agree with the idea of working with everyone. You can't... Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all these mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought too, at first. Until Monokuma gave that little hint of his. Hint? <laughs> <laughs> what, you're using flashbacks again? Why can't you just remember this with your own memory? Sixteen students, you know. Uh, anyway, um, this is the end of the flashback. See ya. I see. Uh, Monokuma said that, did he? Hey guys, let's not talk about jokes. You're Feel free to make all the jokes you want, but don't turn this into a discussion, guys. Just keep uh, everything on topic. Monokuma said that, did he? Then Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? But, oh, hi. So in other words, if the mastermind is really the one who killed Mukuro, as Kyoko said, then the mastermind would have to set foot in this school. Monokuma could probably murder Mukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. In other words... But according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak Academy are these 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. <laughs> the, the, the mastermind is... There were 15 of us in the main hall at the beginning. And at in Mukuro, you, you get 16. So the mastermind would have to be Junko because Mukuro is disguised as Junko when we first met. But of course, they're not listening to my logic. I am telling you, it is Junko. You guys gotta believe me. You have to believe me. You have to freaking believe me. I'm telling you, the murderer, the, the mastermind is Junko. Why don't they listen? Boots, red laces, fake nails, Fenrir tattoo, Mukuro, but not Mukuro mean Junko. And Junko Mukuro means Mukuro Junko. But Junko didn't look like Junko, which means that she's not actually Junko. You guys have to believe me. You have to go. Thank you so much for coming by, uh, uh, Mega C. You think Junko is Monokuma too? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Junko is Junko is the bad big bad. I'm telling you. But they don't believe me. That's right. I'm telling you, I, I I just know it. I just know it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. We didn't even have to go through any of that final trial. We could have just said, oh, look, it's Mukuro and Junko, and then put the femur together, and put the fake nails, and then flip it all around, and then put it back in, and then, and then we have we have the, that Mukuro was Junko, and Junko was Mukuro, but actually, uh, there's a separate Junko who's not Junko, but actually, she's the real Junko. <sighs> Only those 16 people we started with. Only the ones still alive. Uh, there are countless people standing right here. I need... Need I continue or do you get it? What? You're, you're saying that the Mastermind's one of us? No way! <laughs> you can't be serious. 
Wait, we can't say that for sure yet. It might be Junko, because I, I solved that last, last trial, but nobody listened to me. Monokuma must have said, must have just said that all to confuse us. Indeed. It's certainly a possibility, but one among us. How do you, it's, 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 I mean, they never said it was Junko's sister. They never said it was Junko's sister. Uh, the mastermind being uh, one of us is also a possibility. That is one possibility we cannot ignore. Hey, holidays, welcome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're an ultimate, right? Ultimate despair. They could be a high schooler. <laughs> you can't say it's not possible. But if one of us was the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow. But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious any time Monokuma was acting active? Oh, wow. Maybe they snuck off and controlled him. In no, because we, we met in the gym. We met in the gym! But... I don't care how sneaky you are. We've noticed someone... We would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right. Then maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Or maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there was no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. There's no good AI like that yet. Well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible. They directed the flow of the conversation, after all. Well, maybe, but still. Nighttime is now 10 p.m. Uh, this you've all probably figured oh. this out by now. Never mind, it's not nighttime. At this point, the killing game has now entered true ending Guys, mode. we got the true ending. We did it. We got the true ending. Uh, Tin, if that's a spoiler, please don't post the spoilers because this is my first time playing. So, in the name of I will unlock every room in the school. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? <laughs> hey, have you ever noticed that bears like salmon? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about fish. <laughs> How very magnanimous, magnanimous, I hate that word, magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But hmm. I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. In the name of my family. At this point, I can rely on only myself, the Togami blood flowing through my veins. However, there's some- there's something else flowing through me right now. That's right! My mother also had blood, so it must have been my mother's uh, blood as well. Hm. I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each one of you must uphold your responsibility. Goodbye. Well then. After making his final statement, Byakuya left the dining hall. <laughs> Master! He didn't take me with him. Hey. Do you blame him? <laughs> without Master, the rest of you are like... Coffee without the cream. Or coffee. Yeah. You're totally useless. <laughs> so goodbye. Blood is definitely flowing to one spot. To my freaking head because... Oh my god, please, please. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Uh, it's Junko. With that... Toko trudged out of the dining hall. Uh, <sighs> now she's gone, man. You're gonna go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Which just leaves Mikoto and Hina and me. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go by myself, too. Just a second. Oh my god. Hero's gonna screw everything up for us. How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity or screw everything up for us because it's probably a ghost. <laughs> Laughing loudly, Hero left the dining hall. Aww. Everyone's really going off by themselves. Oh, we get to partner up with Owie. Owie assistant, Owie assistant. What about you, Hina? Mm. I guess I'll do the same. What? But. I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone. 
I mean... But up until now, I haven't really been all that useful. Oh, no. I mean, it's true, but don't feel bad. I don't know Super New Year. Heroes room? You guys want me to go to Heroes room? Why do you guys want me to go to Heroes room? Oh, no, you didn't say Heroes room. You said, why Hero? Mastermind's room. Oh, I confused those two. You want me to go... Oh, the, the Monokuma room in the, in the data center. I just depended on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been there, I would have died. M Makoto. <laughs> That's really nice of you to say. I could date you, um, but... But... I know you're with Kyoko. Okay. So I figured that, at least while I'm here, maybe I can find a clue so you like me. I'm gonna go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> See you later. You're drawing something for your friend's stream? That's awesome. For your friend's birthday? What are you doing? Once again, it's just us two. Indeed. Indeed. Well, let's go, Kyoko. So you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Kyoko? What, what Aoi said. Would you ever actually like her? No, I like you. Okay, good. However. Well, I don't, don't misunderstand. Just because we're doing our searches separately, it doesn't mean we still can't uh, work together. So. That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our investigations doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I should just see it as splitting up to cover more ground. Um, then we can get back together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right! So then. Well, I better be going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. One being whether or not um, Aoi actually likes you. Correct. Monokuma said all the doors in the school have been unlocked, right? We should be able to un investigate every nook and cranny in this school. We can visit the places we couldn't before. Makoto. No matter what happens, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was gone. Leaving only me. Maybe the true mastermind was the friends we made along the way. The true mastermind is Izer. Izer? Izer? Who's Izer? Do we know someone named Izer? I don't have the time to waste either. I have to begin my search. I still can't believe the mastermind might, might be one of us, but it's not, it's Junko. Listen to me, Makoto. Freaking listen. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove that the mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of the school. And then we can escape together. Oh, it's the fire music. You guys hear this? Looking for clues! Uh. 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 We doing theories. Uh. 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 We objecting. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let me turn down the music again. There we go. I guess I'll start by taking a look at Monok Mukuro's Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. However, they were dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed by a single time with a knife, which went through the body. They also had been struck in the head with an object almost as thick as a pipe. The body was covered with other old wounds, but these were at least several days old. Almost as if a Junko died several days ago. Once we find out who killed Mokuro Ikusaba, then we'll know who the mastermind is. Where should I start? Where should I start my investigation to figure out where she, where, uh, who killed her? Let's start with the rooms that were locked up until now. The headmaster's room in the bio lab and the door of the data center with Monokuma's face on it. Oh, and the second floor of the dorms. Thank you, actually, Penguin, help. That is actually very valuable. Um, having fake spoilers around to devalue other people. You don't have to worry about doing that, but... Um, um, but if you do fake spoilers, make sure you do something super ridiculous. If someone dies and you say, they don't die, that's not really a spoiler because they either die or they don't die. And the, But by saying that, it makes me think that they're actually... It, like, biases my opinion all the way or not. But if you say something like... Um, Yasuhiro is actually an alien. I have no problem with that. 
they should be open now. After that, I'll have to double check the areas that are connected to the murder, which means the garden and the dojo. Let's get started. Hey, places to check. He even wrote it down. Mana, you are literally dead right now. That's death for sure. Uh, yes, we are 100% a ghost. Okay, for old time's sake, we're no, no fast travel this time. We're going by foot. Let's get up there. Ah, this way. Monokuma is actually a cyborg powered by solar radiation that eats Chick-fil-A. Dang, I knew it was Chick-fil-A! You're re- you're wheezing? Monokuma is base- wait, where'd the stairs go? Ah, oh, there. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, Monokuma definitely likes Chick-fil-A. Kyoko is a Popeye's person, that's why they never got along. Hey, Makoto. Are you here to look around too? Is that what you're doing? Mm. Yeah, I can't help but wonder about that Monokuma yeah. door. So I figured, if all the doors have been unlocked, that one should be open too. But... Although I couldn't bring myself to open it. Because I mean... it might explode, right? And that'd really suck. So you open it. I'm sure she didn't mean it, but she made it sound like she was okay with me getting blown up. Uh, let's just say, I am certainly okay with you getting blown up. L like with a bomb. Okay, I guess I'll open it. Wait, let me take cover first. I don't want to. I don't want to get exploded. Hina raced over to a nearby desk and hid underneath it. Uh, okay, go ahead. Everything will be okay, right? Well, here goes nothing. I threw all my weight into it, but the door opened much easier than I expected. Hey, look at that. We're in. Yo! Yo! Is Monokuma a mecha? Holy, we got some Gundam crap in here! There was no explosion, thankfully. My first impression was, this place is totally sci-fi! I was kind of thinking the same thing. What is this device? It looks like some kind of control panel. It's really over the top, though. Like some kind of military installation or something. Uh, yeah, it, it looks like a mech cockpit, right? Hifumi would probably freak out if he saw this. A uh, cockpit? So the Monokuma room has a control panel that looks like some kind of cockpit? Then could that mean... Okay. All right, let's poke, start poking at it. Or whatever, I'm going to start pushing buttons. Hold on, you can't just whatever something like this. But it was too late. Hina was jabbing away at the control panel. Huh? Huh, did you hear that? Yeah, I think it came from the other room. Hina, what did you push? <laughs> I'm not totally sure, but I think it was that one, the one that says data center. Data center? I took a good look around the control panel, and the other one says main room, oh, music room, and saw a bunch of buttons uh, with a name of a room next to it. And just like Hina said, there was one labeled data center. There must That must be the one she pushed. But the data center, that's next door. The room we were just in. That's why, that's where the strange noise came from. I probably better go check it out. How about you first finish checking out this room and then you go check it out? Yeah. Yes, please, I'm kind of scared out of my mind right now. So I'll just cheer for you from over here. There's something here. There's some kind of hatch on the floor. But right now I need to go check out the data. No, 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 no. Vent. Don't worry, I'll cheer you super loud from way over here. No, 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 investigate everything. <sighs> Whatever. Vent, vent, they're venting. <laughs> they're venting, they're venting. Did I just hear what I think I heard? Is that Monokuma? Wait. So did Monokuma 
canonically makes that row sound. It's not just a sound effect, he canonically makes that sound. <laughs> hey. Give me all your donuts! Is that you, Hina? Wow, man, busted. How'd you know? Anyway, what is this? Some kind of remote control camera setup? You don't even know what you're controlling? Hello. Well, I can't really see anything from here. Found it. Ah, I found it! The self-destruct button! Whatever you do, don't push Too it! Aw, oh, man! Wait, were you seriously gonna push it? Anyway, I guess that settles it. The room with the Monokuma drawing on it. The control panel. It's the control panel. Back inside. Ah. Whoa, Makoto, what the heck was that just now? Monokuma. Huh? W what do you mean? You were controlling Monokuma. It was Monokuma. Huh? Monokuma? Huh? What, for real? Yeah, it definitely looks like a panel that controls Monokuma. Which means the mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. They were definitely in here. Let's search for hair. The mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. And this control room is totally separate from the data center area with all the monitors. In other words... Hey. Maybe the mastermind can't control monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Kyoko's theory was right! But... If the mastermind's been controlling Monokuma from here, does that mean they've been inside this school the whole time? I guess that would have to be true. But if that is true... <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, but no, enough puns. Here's a hint. I'm sure I told you all this already, but... Um... Flashbacks are really long sometimes. And when I say really long, I mean really long. Then the mastermind, Monokumo's puppeteer, is really a 16th student. It can't be. There's no way. Right? Monokuma's control room. Um... What's wrong, Makoto? I don't like that face you're making. It's nothing. Okay. What about you? Is everything okay? I mean... Well, it, it's just... This is where the mastermind's been hiding, right? Who knows if they set up traps or something? That's why you should search the area. But I really hope um, it's not true. So like, so, you wanna um, leave soon? There's lots of other places to check. Yeah, good point. We can't waste all of our time standing around here. I guess that's the end. You wanna get going? All right. Anyway, can we investigate this? Um, Let's hurry up and get out of here. Okay, I guess, I guess there's nothing left. Click. As soon as the door to the data center was closed, I heard a strange sound. What was that? Oh. The door just locked. What did I say about investigating? What? My hand shot out to grab the doorknob. Rattle, rattle. Okay, it's canonical. There, oh yeah, I, I'm, I'm making this canon. Every door in Hope's Peak Academy has a little speaker and when you try to open it, it goes rattle, rattle. You're right, it's locked, but why? Yeah. Of course it's locked because the data center is now restricted. How is that fair? The others haven't searched it yet. Monokuma? Just a second. Hey, no fair, you can't go around restricting whatever you feel like. Hey, um... It's for your benefit. Because if that room stays open, I won't be able to move around. <laughs> Imagine how depressed would everyone would be if the school mascot just stopped and sh uh, just up and stopped moving. In that room, yep. you may have guessed it. That's where my controls are. Um, so right now you're being operated by someone in that room. Yes, in Correct, the moon now. But that doesn't make any sense. We were just in there. We didn't see anyone. The hatch! And the hatch! Oh my God! The sus person vented. They vented. <laughs> And each of them has different voices. <laughs> oh, you didn't, did you? Oh, you didn't, did you? <laughs> Are you sure you were as thorough as you could have been? Oh, I literally was! I was right about checking that! No way, the hatch on the floor? <laughs> That's too bad. That was your one big chance and you blew it! Vote her out! Vote her out! Of course, the hatch can't be open from the outside anyway, so whatever. Now then, the room's officially restricted, so no more investigating. I'll be relying on you guys to tell the others. 
piece. Um. He, he's gone, but. So. Um... Was he telling the truth? Was the mastermind hiding in there? In fact, if you think back to when we got locked out of the control room, it proves it for sure. Huh? And when I said we should leave? Well, that hatch couldn't be opened from the. Okay, I guess it wouldn't have opened anyway, regardless. Ah, my back is stiff. Sorry, guys. It's not your fault. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, we don't have to let it get to us. We have to stay positive and make the most of our time we have left. I've already solved it, but apparently you guys just don't get it! You're right. You know what's going to be really funny? I am so freaking confident that it is Junko. And watch, it's going to be freaking Yasuhiro. Oh my god, what if it's Yasuhiro? Like, I'm pretty confident it's Junko, but it's like... I'm gonna go through the entire trial and just go, yeah, it's been me this whole time! Oh my god, what if it actually? Oh my god, what if it actually is Yasuhiro? Wait. I I'm pretty confident about my juice Junko theory, but I mean, Yasuhiro really is really stupid. So I wonder, I would wonder uh, I mean, I'm pretty confident with my Juko thing, but it's like, you know, it's always the stupid one. Anyway, I'm pretty confident with my Junko theory, but still. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's keeping my body moving. I'm gonna run around and tell everyone what we found here. Nice. You've got me all motivated again. You got it. Okay, I'm out. See you later. You doubt it? I have to do what I can too. That's the only way forward. Okay, uh, somebody requested the bio lab, so let's go to the bio lab. Yasuhiro has been faking it. Maybe. I don't think so. I'm pretty confident with my Junko theory, but maybe. Raw. Well, here I am in the bio lab. It's so cold. It's like abnormally cold. I feel like I'm in a giant refrigerator. Seriously, why is it so cold? Cold, cold. Cold, 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 cold. There's some kind of weird machine, or something built into the wall. Left side, there's a bunch of glowing blue and lights. On the other side, there's some kind of weird machine or something on the wall. I've seen something like this before. I've seen this thing in horror movies and stuff. It's a fridge for storing dead bodies. Does this mean the bio lab is a, a morgue? I should probably take a closer look around. Uh, what do we got? We were at the trial and he was being- Maybe he's just so freaking smart. Maybe Yasuhiro's so freaking smart. I don't think it is, but you know, you never know. You never know. You got to keep an open mind. Uh, Waluigi Master. Oh, thank you so much for subscribing, Waluigi Master. There's a stack of tarps here. I've been seeing a lot of those lately. Mom Larson. Mom Larson. Hey, thank you so much for subscribing as well. Oh, thank you so much. That means a lot that you guys like my um, content, guys. So thank you so much for watching and enjoying with me. I mean, I, I don't think it's Yasuhiro. Let's be real here. There's some kind of booklet in here. It looks like an instruction manual. We offer an eco-friendly alternative to standard dry ice for your, all your cadaver needs. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, no, that's right. In addition to the germicidal lamps, we also provide an ozone generator for the removal of ethylene gla gas. Simply insert the cadaver in the light blue, and the blue light will let you know where the automated system has activated. Temperature and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optimum settings. With our system, anyone can keep a body fresh and as a daisy for as long as you need. Why the heck does a school have this? Why does the, a, a school need to have a... 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 A, a, a body preservation system. Why? In the unlikely event of a problem, a red light will activate and an alarm will sound immediately. The exterior is stainless steel. We do op <laughs> offer an optional leather upholstery upgrade packet. <laughs> Dang, that's quality. That's quality refrigeration for the uh, for the dead bodies. Dissections for class. Do we need that big of a? dice uh, of, a, of a spot for frogs resurrection class 
What if the weed makes him dumb? Oh, you're onto something, Kemjo. <laughs> Here's the instruction manual for the fridge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sayaka Junko Leon Mondo Chihiro um, Taka Hifumi Celeste Sakura? Two, four, six, eight, nine. So all the bodies are here. Three in the first one, two in the second one, three in the third one, one in the fourth one. Wait, I could just have done 15 minus six, which is nine. So, so this is correct. That does throw a bit of a hamper in my Junko theory. Because my thought was they took the body of Junko and they placed it there, but that does throw a bit of a wrench in my Junko theory. Huh. I don't think I'm done quite yet. There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. Uh, see you later, Az. Thanks so much for coming. Some of the lights are on, one to the left. The right, the right hand lights are off. Well, looking around, I think I get it. It seems clear to me. This is a makeshift mord. And about those lights, each by each slot. 15 minus six is nine, but there's 16. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Which would mean uh, inside each slot, lit up in blue, is another one of the victims. Wait, hold on, hold on. I can't let my emotions take control right now. There's only one thing I could do for everyone who's died, and that's defeat the mastermind. And to do that, I have to continue my investigation. I don't have any other option. Oh, right, because the fifth trial, the fifth trial. I was assuming that we already knew, but okay. That means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We, I should have counted on this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, so that confirms it. That confirms it. That confirms my theory. That confirms my theory. I was right all along. How did Hifumi get into one of those things? Good question. Huh, that's actually a really good question. Anyway, that confirms it! That confirms it! I was right all along! Anyway, dojo? Anything here? No, it wasn't the dojo. Oh, but we had to visit the garden, right? Might as well. Ugh, ah, my back is so stiff! Oh! Oh! It's because the body's gone! Look, the body's gone! It's gone! Mukuro's body! It's not here. Well, rip. Check the tool shed. I mean, we know it's back at the morgue. I better check. Didn't find anything even close to a dead body, but if not in here, it must be, could it be in the bio lab? But, but corpses aren't the only thing I need to check. There's one other thing, the tarp. The tarp played a key role in that case. I better look into it. Mukuro's body, Mukuro's, Mukuro's body isn't her. Yeah, like I said, right? We theorized that Junko died and Jun because Junko died, right? The real Junko was not Junko, but the Junko was Junko even though Junko was Junko, right? We, we've already confirmed that, right? We, we, we knew that from the start, right? Wait, right, right? I thought we, didn't, didn't we, didn't we come to the theory bef uh, at the investigation of last trial? Wait, the investigation of last trial. I thought we, we came to a theory that um, the Junko we met was fake, right? We met, we came to that theory, right? Or did we not? No, no, I remember, I remember we came to the Junko with the, the theory that Junko was fake. Junko is fake and the real Junko is Junko. Okay, thank you for refreshing my memory. Which means the killer might have left some clue behind here. Huh? I didn't notice before, but there's a small stamp in one. Oh, that's from the bio lab. Oh, that confirms it! It was rolled out in the tarp in the bio lab! That's it! That's it! That's it! That's it! And this originally came from the bio lab? Tarp has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. That's all I really needed. Alright. 
Well, let's go back to the bio lab to confirm. I think. Can we go back to the bio lab now? Oh, I guess it went to the bio lab early. I mean, I'm sure I, either way is fine. We don't always have to follow sequence. We can secrets break sometimes. There's a stack of tarps here. I've been seeing these a lot lately. Um, come on. Come on. Oh, I guess we don't need to come back here. Eh, whatever. Oh, this one. Yeah, in simpler terms, Junko isn't Junko, but instead Junko's Junko. Uh, nothing else here. Oh, no, 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 the dojo. Oh, Toko, this is where you were. What do you want? Am I so disgusting you want me out of your s s sight? No, that's not it at all. Maybe I thought maybe you'd find a clue. Well, I haven't. I didn't find anything. Not a single clue. I figured since this place was related to the case, I would have something. But there wasn't a single thing out of the ordinary. <laughs> Give me back my precious time! C calm, calm down, Toko. What's your problem? Don't tell me to calm down. You calm down! When everyone finds out, they're gonna call me useless and good for nothing. No, nope. nobody's gonna say that. <laughs> Master Will. I mean, I'm not sure I can disagree with that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't want. I'm sick of always being looked down on. Why won't anyone accept me? Maybe you need better taste in men, Toko. Just think about that. Uh, well, I don't think there are any clues here, so I'll get going. Uh, but first, let's look at that very Japanese uh, suit of armor. A suit of armor? Wait. Dang! It's still very Japanese. This is like the most advanced Japanese I've ever seen. <laughs> Can you say something random? As long as it is appropriate. If it's not appropriate, please don't. Headmaster's room. Uh, there's the chem room this way, I think. Yeah, headmaster's room. It's too bad we never used the music room. I thought the music room would be a really cool place for the, um, for the, for a, for a murder. Dang, look at this. This is the headmaster's room. I heard an awful lot about it, but this is my first time seeing it. Hmm. It looks like the president's office. What the heck? Ah, Makoto, it's you. Oh, Byakuya. There are documents scattered all over the floor. Um, somehow it makes me feel anxious. How about on the table? Here? Oh, here. Come on. Hey, Makoto. Not possible. Are you ignoring me? Do you think I'll forgive that just because you're you? Yeah, I'm, I'm cute and huggable. Such ignorance. When we get out of here, remember this moment. Uh, oh, I guess we had to talk to Biakuya. <laughs> Did I see that correctly? Byakuya wants my attention. Oh, how the turntables. Oh, oh. Now who's the sad puppy dog asking for attention? Now who's the one who's lovesick, Byakuya? Ah, uh, cause I know you want me and I know you need me, but you know what? You can't have all this. You can't handle all this. Uh. Would you like to see something interesting? What do you mean something interesting? Take a look at this. It was on the top of that pathetically ostentatious deck. Class 78 student registry? Hmm. It contains profiles for all of us and Mukuro. So in other words... Apparently, class 78 refers to us. Oh, dang, we're number 78. Have I tried chicken salad? Chicken salad is yummy yummy. Um... Wait, when we found Mukuro's profile in Kyoko's room... I see. That's right, it also mentioned Class 78. This must be where Kyoko got that page. And since the rest of our profiles are listed here along with hers... In other words... There can be no doubt. Mukuro was a student here at Hope's Peak Academy, just like Junko! Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student! That must be how Kyoko learned it. 
but it seems Ky Kyoko was in a hurry. What do you mean? I was talking about when she stole it. The uneven tearing, the way the paper had been crumpled. She must have been in a gosh darn hurry. When she snuck in to get it, I'm sure she wanted to get out as fast as possible. But what's your point? <laughs> she was in so much of the hurry that she only got the first page. The first page? Hm. Correct. Mukuro's profile actually contains two pages. So in other words... When it comes to this profile, there was more information that we didn't have. What kind of information? It was about ultimate despair, but we didn't believe her because I thought she was dumb, but it turns out she was smart. I should trust people more often. Why do you, why do you ask me to explain every little thing to you? You can read, can't you? Together, it seems to be some sort of detailed report to put together by the headmaster himself. Hm. I don't know what kind of man he was, but I'm glad he left us such an interesting clue. I was half listening to Byakuya when I skimmed through the report. Dang, she kind of cute. I mean, we already know she's kind of cute, but she kind of cute. Dang. Oh, hey. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, hey. She kind of... She, she, Ooh, she kind of yummy. Oh, oh. Dang. Maybe Mukuro and fake... Uh, sorry, sorry. Maybe Junko and fake Junko. Ooh. Ooh, maybe we can marriage... Maybe... Is there a three-way marriage or something like that? Mukuro... Mukuro reappeared suddenly in the background and... and an entity floats, close but just out of reach. The entity known as Ultimate Despair. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group. Whatever it is, Mukuro definitely has some sort of connection to it. I have a bad feeling about this. I need to push forward with my research into the Ultimate Despair. They kinda won, and I need to pay attention to Mukuro's behavior. This is just my gut feeling, but I think she's dangerous. She's also dead. Despite the countless battles she must have gone through as a member of Fenrir, when she entered Hope's Peak Academy, she didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars. That fact alone proves her tremendous skill. That, dang, that's superhuman. Do you know what that also means? Those wounds are freaking from the stab a stab a stab. Naturally, I want to believe in her. She's one of my students, after all. But if I decide she's a danger to the other students, I will be forced to take all spot reasonable measures. M Mukuro was a part of the ultimate despair. <laughs> Thanks so much, Layla. I'm so glad that you were enjoying yourself. Mukuro, smiley face. I don't know. Mukuro's kind of cute. She's a little bit too cute to be a mastermind. I don't think there could be any doubt about it. Wouldn't that make Mukuro... Uh, mean the Mukuro and the mastermind were allies? So why? Why would they kill Mukuro? Plus, even the headmaster seemed to be afraid of what Mukuro was capable of. They would have had to take her completely by surprise to kill her like that. Or maybe it means the mastermind is even stronger than Mukuro was. What? What's wrong, Makoto? That's fine. You seem to be lost in thought, but I should probably point out some other thing. Another important information within the file that you know should note? Oh, what is it? Did you notice the picture in there? A picture of a girl you perhaps have never seen. <laughs> a girl who seems to be included as our part of Class 78. That should be enough for you to figure out who this girl is. Hmm. And further information about that girl is included in the file. 5 foot 7 inches, 97 pounds, and it even lists her. That's an, Americans that's an Americanization. Three measurements. 31, 22, 32. Why are you interested in that, in that information, Byakuya? Huh? Wow, Byakuya, you're more of a perv than I thought. <laughs> well, what do you think? What what do I think? If you're asking me if she has a nice body... Stop talking. You hopeless idiot. What I'm trying to tell you is maybe you want to keep that in mind for later. Maybe you'll go back to the way your corp... Uh, maybe you'll make your way back to that corpse and maybe you'll think, Oh, could that mean... Wait, is he trying to say... Is there a chance that this body isn't Mukuro? Is that what he's trying to say? No, that's not what he's saying at all. What he's saying is... Chest size 31 inches, 97 pounds, 
Five foot seven? I was right! I was right all along! Okay, we've solved the murder. We've solved the case. I mean, now we have enough proof to like really nail it down, but still. It's all clear now. That's all I was trying to say. What you do with that information is your business. So, uh, so I'm back to being Byaku's errand boy. Hey, but now we know, um, but now in, for Junko, instead of just 31, we know 31, 22, 32. So I'm just, I'm just saying. She looking kind of cute. Dang, wait, wait, wait. 31, th 22, 22 inch weight. That's really slim for a professional hitman. She's a hitman who barely weighs anything. She's 97 freaking pounds. Hmm. Oh, and one last thing. It's a bit of advice. I suggest you pay attention. Advice for me? You seem to be getting along with Kyoko quite well. Are, are you jealous? It's not that we're getting along, it's just that she, she confessed to me and I want to accept. Hmm. Well, don't put too much faith in her. Huh? In other words... That cost of faith might be more than you can afford. What are you saying? <laughs> just what I think. Call it a hunch. A hunch? <laughs> But my hunches tend to be proven right. The, the advice is free this time. Take it or don't, as you will. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. All right. We will investigate one more area. Garden, dojo, headmaster's room. Wait, we've investigated most of everything. Let's see, okay, let's check the map. Let's see if there are other places we'd want to investigate. Um, so here's locked, we can't get in there anymore. Oh, I like how, uh, do you guys see that? I like how there's a little Monokumos right there. <laughs> um, garden, we've investigated that. Dojo, we've investigated that. Biolab, maybe? Say, if this channel makes your... Say, I am... If this channel makes your life better. Well, Layla, I, thank you so much. I'm so glad you like this. I'm so glad you like the content. You need to go soon? No problem, we're gonna investigate one more area and then we're going to call it a day. Um, I don't, just don't know where. Uh, dojo, maybe we'll head back to the garden. No, they would have le let me... Oh, well, you think we should talk to Toko? I mean, we talked to... Who? We've talked, have we talked to Kyoko? We haven't talked to Kyoko this investigation. Let's talk to, uh, to Toko. I think we have to talk to everyone, right? Let's talk to her. <laughs> ah, why is everything? I don't think there's anything clues, so... Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe back to the bio lab. Let's, let's go revisit all the places. Um, still nobody here. I thought maybe someone would have appeared here. Okay, Byakuya was from the Headmaster's room. Oh no, we still have some more things to look at in the Headmaster's room, right? No, I think we saw everything. Uh, let's just head back to the master Headmaster's room one more time, just in case. Mannequin has influenced what I've drawn for the last few months. I wouldn't draw... Any Undertale? Thank you so much, Kemjo. You guys are so amazing. <laughs> Student registry, apparently that's us. Just like Mukuro. Mukuro Kusaba. Which means her mastermind- well, why would the mastermind kill her? Okay. Anything else? Oh! Maybe the sword? There are trophies and even a shield in the display case. Um, guess not. I think that's it. Oh, books. Books, books, books. The bookshelf seems really well made and it's filled with thick books. Um, papers, camera, I think that's it. That's everything. Don't worry about helping. Yeah, I enjoy just um, searching around. Uh, maybe back to the data center? Rattle, rattle. 
Um, maybe the girl's restroom? This is the girl's bathroom. Obviously, I can't go in. Nope, it's not the girl's restroom. Uh, let me think a little bit. Have there been areas we haven't... We've investigated the headmaster's room. Data, we've investigated the data center. Um, oh, right. Um, there was a truth bullet about this, right? Things I need to do. Um, we've done the headmaster's room. We've done the bio lab. Monokuma door. Second floor. Oh, the second floor of the dormitory. Of course. Okay, this will be the final area we check. Right? I, I, I never really paid attention to the fact that there was a second floor of the dormitory. You have to go? Thank you so much for coming, Odd Stick Man. Wait, wait, wait. I promised myself we would. Ah, whatever. We've teleported already. Where's the dormitory? Or stairs, garden, entryway, hallway, main area. Oh, it's here. Thanks so much for coming, Odd Stick Man. Here we go. The gate's open. She said there were no cameras here. We can finally check out the second floor, which means I have to do it. This place is in shambles. It looks like an ancient ruins. No, more like a battlefield. Like Monokuma's blew up here or something. The hell? And, and real blood, not that peptal bismol crap. I feel like something could jump out at me at any moment. I, uh, uh, I feel, this is so freaky, oh my God. Yo, look at this. I opened the door and cracked in, uh, just a crack and glanced inside. There wasn't even a hint of a bathroom, just a big pile of rubble. Maybe the bed? I'm torn apart. It's not really a bed, it's just garbage. Like me. Oh, but the coin! The coin! Restroom, guy's restroom. Hey, a draft. This room is filled with lockers. It must have been for Hope's Peak students before we came in. Class before hours must have used these lockers. I can't imagine any way of getting into this locker. I'm not even gonna try. I wonder if, nope, locked. The card reader, it must have been how you open it. After all, it's pretty similar. So the card reader from the, st oh, sorry. I, I just started skipping things for a second. I'm so sorry. Um, um, uh, what is it? Uh, this is similar to the card readers that you have in the e-handbooks e to open up in the bathrooms. So does that mean, well, let's just give it a try. I took out my handbook and ran the card across it. Nope, no luck. Maybe only the locker's owner, which means none of us can do it. But the coin, though. I wonder if I can open this one. Nope. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty similar. Let's give it a try. I took out my handbook. Wait, do we have to go through this every single time? Well, I might as well read the, um, the text that I missed. Uh, card reader. It must be how you get the locker open. After all, it's pretty similar to the card readers for the lockers on the second floor of the school. And you have to use your e-handbook. So does that mean, just give it a try. And I just ran my handbook across the e-reader and no luck. Maybe the locker's owner can open it, which means none of us can do it. Wait, are we seriously going to have to try every single locker? Are we seriously going to have to try every single locker? Okay, come on, this one, it's got to open. No luck. No luck. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait. Um, so not on that side. Maybe this one? Card reader. Yep. 
Yes. Okay, well, so this was a complete waste of time. Let's leave. The room doesn't feel like a student's room. More like an... It has a more adult atmosphere. Anyone notice the secret door over there? Correct. It's the headmaster's private room. Kyoko! Indeed. I've been through... I've been through this room several times already, but I still have one regret. So I decided to check it out one more time. Huh? A regret? Um... It must be not drinking. Oh, man, look at all that. Is that whiskey? I can't tell. Bed. Here, maybe the computer? There's a PC on the desk. It must have belonged to the headmaster. It would seem... Whoever used it last looks like they were very interested in Ultimate Despair. The PC still has some search results left on it. We might be able to get some info on the Ultimate Despair. However... Oh, we might be able to get some info on the Ultimate Despair! There's not much, though. Nothing we don't already know. In other words... The Ultimate Despair isn't one individual, but instead points to some kind of group. That group is responsible for the tragedy which happened one year ago. They're the worst sorts of people whose driving force comes from despair. However... And that's all there is. Not much to it, is there? Whew. But I guess that's the best he could do as a complete kitty giddy failure. Dang! Kyoko, that's harsh, even for your dad, man. He tried his best to get the milk. But any information about the mastermind is helpful, right? I appreciate what we can get our hands on. I see. That's a good outlook to have. Oh god, ultimate- Oh god, that's creepy! And let's talk to her. Kyoko almost looks meek right now. She must be thinking about something. I probably shouldn't bother her. Oh, secret door, of course. There's a strange gap in the wall. Is it some kind of mistake or construction defect? So... There's a gap here. Not just any gap. I can feel a breeze coming out. A Indeed. breeze? There's likely an open space on the other side. Oh, does that mean... You mean like a hidden room? I think I might know how to open it. You know how to open it? Did you figure out some kind of trick or something? Indeed. A very easy trick. So easy. I'm not sure you can even call it a trick. I saw a program on a PC that controls it. You can't see the bot? Well, I'll take care of it. No problem. Um, hide this user. Uh, enter it, write password and the door should open right up. However. But I don't have a clue what that password might be. All I know is it's probably made up of letters and or numbers. We can't really go from there. That is what a password is. You're right, it's not nearly enough to go it's on. It's true. Um, I looked through all his paperwork, all the files on the PC, everything I can think of. I learned more about him than I than I had any desire to, but nothing that might have been his password. Whew. When I think about how much time I wasted on this. Jeez. So there's a hidden room she couldn't get into. That's what she meant by regret. I think we can assume that there's some kind of clue waiting in there. Maybe for her, there's more to it than that. Anyway, if we want to get in there, we have to figure out the password. And if Kyoko can't figure it out, no way do I stand a chance. No, wait, there might be a chance. The password could be something Kyoko would have thought, wouldn't have thought of, or something she didn't want to think of. For example, what about your name? What? Oh, sorry, I was just trying to think of what the password might be. I'm sure she hasn't tried it. I mean, it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea he would use her name as his password, knowing that she is, knowing how she is, I bet the idea never even occurred to her. Do you mind if I try it, just to be sure? Well. It's not like you need my permission. If you want to try it, do whatever you want. Okay. Dang. If that's the password, it's a freaking weak ass password. You know, I'm glad I thought of trying Kyoko's name. But if that's not it, I might just hurt Kyoko even more. Hey. If you're worried about me, Makoto, don't be. I already know that your guess is wrong. Okay. In that case, here goes nothing. 
I collected myself and turned to face the computer. Just let me type the password here. I typed in her full name, Kyoko Kirigiri. My hands were tense, trembling as I finished typing it. God, that's gonna kill her. Uh, that did it? Kyoko, it worked! That's gonna kill her. Why? First of all, why would you use a freaking weak ass password? Second of all, you call yourself the ultimate detective and you couldn't figure that out? Oh my god. <laughs> Kyoko? Without looking, she disappeared into the hidden room. She looked grim. Kyoko! What is in the hidden room? We will find out next time. So what do you guys think? I'm looking forward. I think we're about to um get to the um the, 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 we're gonna beat it tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow, but next stream, which will be really awesome. I'm looking forward to, um, finally confirming that it's Junko. Oh my god, oh my freaking god, why don't they believe me? <sighs> I think she didn't want to believe it, probably. It was really interesting. I'm so glad that we all got to experience this. I'll get myself prepared for the trial, the intense trial. Is it intense? I mean, I guess so. If we're going to expose the mastermind, I suppose it'll be like the big finale. I wonder how they're going to top this. I wonder how they're going to top this game because this game's really, really fun. It's like, it's fun looking for clues. I think the, the best, the, my favorite part is definitely going around just looking for clues and trying to figure out what the heck happened. Right? But the trial is just like, you know, um, kind of like a debate simulator, so fair enough, but it's like really fun to see what happened. Do I, can, can I play the Simpsons game in PS4? Um, probably not, I don't have that game. Yeah, but I, I'm really enjoying it. And for everyone who um, recommended this, because I don't usually play these visual type of games, like what do you call them, visual novels? Like reading games, I usually don't play, that's actually not true, I played Phoenix Wright. But then again, I don't usually play Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright was a weird exception. So, wait, and then I play Doki Doki Liter uh, but, uh, Okay, maybe I play them more than I think I do. <laughs> Even the fan games are well made. <laughs> uh, are there fan games? Well, I want to play the, uh, the, the first three. You have so many more emotions coming for you if you continue. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, I got an achievement. Spend a hundred um, coins on the Monokuma machine. S. 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 Dra. Ra. Stra. S. D. R. A. Two. What is S D R A two? That is an achievement. That's an achievement I just got. <laughs> I'm playing the game on Steam. Super Dangan Rumpa another? What? Is that like part of the series? I believe. Super Danganronpa another. It's a fan game. I see. Yeah, next we're going to be playing Danganronpa 2. I heard the the I I think the mascot changes in Danganronpa 2. It's a, like a it's like a rabbit instead of um Monokuma. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, seeing the new mascot and the new characters. It's really well made. I see. Maybe I'll do it after the first three games. I mean, obviously I'm going to take a little bit of a break. My voice needs a bit of a rest. From doing this voice all the time, this voice is actually a lot harder than you think it is. Right? You have to make it sound a little bit more high pitch, but you also have to add a little bit of that nasalness in there in order to get like a good protagonist voice. Hi, I'm Makoto Nayagi. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, so my voice is definitely gonna need a rest after this. <laughs> I, that's why I go through so much on Big Jug. But speaking of Big Jug. Ugh. Big Jug. Yeah, it's a typical, it's a typical protagonist voice. You know, it's actually pretty difficult for a guy to do it. Um, believe it or not, a lot of protagonists, like Naruto, believe it! I can't do Naruto, are voiced by women. Naruto's voiced by a woman, did you know that? A lot of these protagonists are voiced by women, fun fact. I am urgently imagining the next protag with that voice and I'm dying of laughter. <laughs> Is well, I, I'm interested to meet the next protagonist. I wonder who our, um, okay, so I'm guessing there's going to be like a Kyoko Kirigiri who's like an, our assistant and then there's going to be like a troublemaker like Byakuya and then there's going to be like an idiot like um, Yasuhiro and then there's going to be like a the classic fan service, like Aoi. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to who our new trope characters will be. I want to, I want to meet them right now, but I also, I, I, I want to like, I want to look up the characters from Danganronpa 2. The only one I know is the white haired guy. Apparently he's really popular. Like the white haired dude who's all like, hey man, I'm like a surfer or something. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know what he sounds like. We'll have to see. I've seen this one guy that looks exactly like Jotaro in Danganronpa 2. I'm in for a ride. It, oh, so there's like another like muscly dude Because that we had Sakura. Maybe there's like another buff dude. Well, I mean Sakura's a girl buff person Now I'm doubly excited Yeah, I'm really curious Will the protagonist sound like this again or maybe or maybe he'll have a little bit of a deeper voice like this. Oh, oh, do you know what I'm really excited for? Danganronpa 3, the protagonist is a girl. I think that's interesting because, you know, Danganronpa 1, we have this guy who's a lucky student. Danganronpa 2, actually, I don't know much about Danganronpa 2, but it's like, the guy looks kind of normal. But Danganronpa 3, she actually looks like an ultimate. Like, I know she's like the ultimate, like, classical musician or something like that. But she actually looks like an ultimate. When you look at the, um, when you look at the, um, the, the, um, the, um, uh, the, um, like, the box art. Like, the, the, the protag, the, the girl, the protag in Danganronpa 3, she actually looks like an ultimate. She has, like, the music hair clips and, like, uh, like a music dress. Did, have you guys seen that? Have you guys seen the box art for Danganronpa 3? I'm really excited to play as her because she actually seems like the type of person who would actually have like a skill or an ability unlike Makoto who's just lucky or the other guy who's literally just like wearing a tie and well there's nothing interesting about him. Like she actually looks like she fits into her talent. I don't know what the talents of the other characters are, but you can I guess you can kind of guess like there, I saw there was like a, a like a chef on the box art. There was like this short chef guy, so I'm getting guessing he's the ultimate like chef. And I don't know, I don't remember any of the others, but I remember there was a chef, and there was a um. There looked like someone who had like cat ears. She was cute. There was this girl who had cat ears. I don't know what's up with that. Um. I only like Danganronpa 3 because of Gonta. Gonta! Gonta! Gon- wait. Gonta! Gon- Gon- Gonta! Gon- Gonta! 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 Is that his Japanese name? Oh, that's kind of an interesting name. Gonta. 
I'll be sorely disappointed if the chef's name isn't Jeff. <laughs> V3 Kemjo 3 is the anime? Wait, what? What do you mean? Danganronpa 3, that's the one with the musician girl, right? The class the ultimate classical musician? There was a girl with cat ears in Danganronpa 2, I think. Uh, she seemed kind of cool. I didn't notice anyone else. Um... But Danganronpa has an anime, please don't weave out and binge it. Should I watch it, though? Oh, I missed it just as I came back. Hey, Layla. Welcome back. But, yeah, I'm going to really look forward to it. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I can't, I can't. I'm going to look up an image for the box. No, no, no. There might be spoilers. There might be spoilers. I can't, I can't. <sighs> You don't know how hard it's been not to Google pictures of Junko online. Like, I really wanted to, like, have a picture of Junko for, like, like a, a little, like, piece of art I was doing for, um, uh, for, um, well, okay, okay, it, 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 it's for personal reasons, okay? It's for personal reasons, okay? Don't judge me. Um, I was trying to come up with an excuse, but I was unable to. <laughs> it's for personal reasons. I'm sorry, okay? I will admit it. I was wanted to Google a picture of Juko for personal reasons. But, um, so instead I had to have my friend get all the images. That's how I have all these prime sus pictures because, um, I told my friend to, you know, pick up some, uh, um, some, um, the, uh, um, pictures and uh toko sus moment oh by the way do you guys like the thumbnail it's i seem like it's, it's like a very wholesome thumbnail where um you're there toko seems to be very happy and there seems to be white paint splatters on the wall yeah it's very it's i think it's a very you know nice simple thumbnail i like the background design white paint splatter is you know i think it's a nice design <laughs> Don't forget to search up Biju Mike. I will, okay. I definitely will. Yeah. What do you guys think? Who, do you think anyone's gonna die? You said it two times, that's okay. Um, you guys think anyone was gonna die um, in the final trial? Maybe, maybe, maybe someone's gonna die. Maybe they have, they still have to name a killer. No, but then the killer would be the man. I don't know. Maybe someone will die, unless someone does sac a sacrifice. Maybe I don't know. I thought Toko would cause. I thought Toko would, cause she's sus as heck. I think she will. I think she won't die because she's sus as heck. Because you need to have that annoying character. <laughs> also, we now know that the headmaster cares for uh, Kyoko. Oh, she's going to have some major daddy issues. She's going to have to go to therapy for years. Pray for Toko, not Toko. I pray for um, what's her name? Kyoko. Anyway, I think it's time for me to go. I better eat something. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Um, I had so much fun today. It was so much fun yelling at the screen. I don't know what it was, but it was very, very fun. I hope to see you guys again soon. I know there's a few new people here, and I just want to let you guys know. Um. If you ever want to support the stream, I don't ever ask for money. All I ask is that you go around and share my videos to people who might like them. And, um, you know, um, if you, you know, because a lot of people, I've, I've seen a lot of people say things like, oh, I don't have the money. It's like, I never want to charge you guys money for hanging out with me. It's like, that, that'd be awful. It's like, imagine if, like, you hung out with your friend and he's like, oh, thanks for hanging out with me. That's, that's $2.95. It's like, that's freaking awful. So, all I, uh, so if you 
support the stream, all I ask is that you, you go around and just like and subscribe and share my video around. So thank you so much uh, for all the new people who are here. Thank you so much for um, coming and watching me freak out over teenagers. Um, well, uh, I guess, yeah, I'm so glad that you all I, uh, that you all are here. Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Do you have any quests for me? And I will see you all next time.